hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. Today's going to be messy, chaotic. Who knows what's going to happen? The Storm Prediction Center did just put out a new... Um, man, I'm tired. Uh, new outlook for today on the day one. So let's take a look at that. Still a big 15% hatched area for tornadoes. So we're out here in Indiana, looking decent right now. I better make sure that, uh... oh yeah, okay, we're on. The location's off, but as soon as we start driving, um, it should update, hopefully, and the temperature's off, but whatever. It'll work itself out. Thanks to everybody who's a replay viewer for viewing, or reviewing live. But right now, we do have storms that are close by us right now. But these storms probably won't be tornadic. We see that little, we got some clouds coming in. Mm -hmm. uh, this is what the Storm Prediction Center has said. A severe weather outbreak is possible through this evening over the Ohio Valley with some broader severe weather risk, including parts of the southeast. So Indiana, Ohio, even down to Alabama, Georgia, you're all in the risk area, but everything, there's high uncertainty for uh, our area due to the ongoing storms. So that might limit destabilization this afternoon, especially in uh, eastern Ohio. So we shall see. But we're out here chasing. We got storms coming in right now. Pretty cool cloud coming in actually. Oh, there's some thunder. Try to see if we can pick that up. So we're just north of this storm right now. What's the target today? Who knows? But we are out here. Thanks to all the early viewers. Appreciate you guys popping in. Here comes a UAV down the track. Lights on. Vroom. There she goes. Hey, Lisa, Kim, we'll see what happens today, but the Storm Prediction Center did maintain a 15% hatched for risk of tornadoes today. So we'll see what happens. These storms right now that you see on radar that are coming through, I think these are kind of the pre-storms and uh, everything after is what's gonna matter more. Keep checking back on the Storm Prediction Center mesoscale analysis to uh, get some more data, but the models are just so far off from what's actually ha happening in the atmosphere right now that we just got to pretty much use our eyes. But according to the models, in four hours, there'll be tornadoes, but I'm doubting that because the models paint a completely different picture Wow, these clouds moving in though are something. Let me show you with this camera. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Come on, give me enough cord. 
Here's a nice leading cloud moving in. A little bit of wind coming in the vehicle. These storms are probably non-severe, but look how low to the ground these clouds are already. No severe warnings in our area yet. There is one to the south just by uh, Louisville or Louisville, however you pronounce that. The location should update when we start driving. Yeah, these clouds are scraping, that's for sure. Scraping the earth. I don't know if we gotta go south or more north or stay put. It's a hard call, but we got some rain coming towards us. Yes, it's a beautiful, pretty view. See what happens here. I'll be right back on the mic. Got some good winds coming in right now. I'm just gonna snap a few pictures out here. Might as well at least get a couple pictures today, right? Oh my gosh! Step around the corner and wind almost takes your face off. Definitely increased. Gotta roll up the window real quick. Yes, Mark Nato, Jake from State Farm, day two. Hopefully you can hear me in this wind. Got this little dirty river here. Don't know if I should call it that, but. Low level clouds this morning. Nothing impressive right now. Well, that's kind of cool. They're definitely cranking. Clouds are definitely cranking at the lower level. That is for sure. Holy moly, this wind. That wind is pushing. Yeah, uh, some new storm prediction center discussion just came out and they maintained the 15% hatched for storms today. So we do have a storm that's going just to our south. We're gonna get hit by some rain here shortly. But what's new? We're only chasing the rain right now. Look at how fast those clouds are moving. Wow. Here, we'll let that thing time-lapse back there. Oh, I just saw a lightning bolt in front of me. This is looking behind. So this is looking, uh, what direction are we even sitting? We're in a north-south road, east-west road. You're kind of looking back towards the east right there.
we are on a slant. That's why the picture is a little slanted. Don't expect anything crazy, um, really, like, soon. So we might have to wait. There's a second wave of storms that are kind of just forming right now out by Effingham, uh, Illinois. So we'll be watching those and seeing what happens with that line. But this is kind of, these storms might put a little bit of a damper on things today. But that uh, Storm Prediction Center is still pretty confident in tornadoes and severe storms today. There's that storm down by Louisville that's severe warned that has my attention. Might ha drop a little bit south to be in position to catch that one. So these storms are moving super, super fast today, like incredibly fast. So we will see. Oh, we have to go, we would have to go way south to catch that storm. Way south. Wow, these clouds are moving so fast. Oh, little rumble of thunder, getting a little bit of rain right now. Hello, Rich. Uh, I didn't see anything drop yesterday. We just had that nice storm by New Haven, Missouri yesterday, but that was about it. I mean, today feels more like, whoops, a tornado day than yesterday. West Virginia traffic cam washed out on interstate. Cars stopped just before power went out. Yeah, I bet there's some, that, that system of storms that's moving through West Virginia right now has been going all night long. There's on and off tornado warnings all night on that uh, line of storms. Take a look at the front cam right now. You can just see how fast these clouds are moving. Lots of lightning going into Knightstown, Indiana. But yeah, look at the speed of these these are how fast storms are going to be moving today. So we need a little bit of luck, a little bit of skill today, and we'll be good. It's a lot easier watching uh, storm chasers than actually chasing. It's pretty tiring chasing. Pretty tired right now, but adrenaline really keeps you going. Just so want to thank all the early viewers for jumping in here really appreciate it make sure to hit that like button help out the stream there was a lightning bolt not sure if i got it on camera or not wasn't really looking but it did get hot or warmer today 67 degrees right now the temperature is probably off on the stream um, it should update once i start moving we're no longer in missouri so it should yeah, these storms are kind of pre-storms to what's going to happen. There's a line of storms to the behind these ones that look that are the storms I'm watching. The storms out by Effingham, Illinois. But they got a ways to go. 
but they're moving quick today. But we're in the right spot. We're at uh, Rushville. Say we're in Rushville. No hail, but Clouds are definitely scraping the ground today. Wow, look at how low they are. It does look a little green on the stream. It is a little bit green, but that's just probably the light ref reflecting on it. Oh, I hear a train. I don't even know where a train track is. Man, how is it every stream we get a train coming through? I don't see it. Am I on the track? Oh, it's way over there. I'm not going to kind of time lapsing these clouds moving across, so I'm not going to move the camera to show the train, but it is way over there. So, yeah, big color difference right now. So, might need to correct that on this camera. Oh, wind is picking up. Yeah, that is off. I'm not in Missouri, I'm in Rushville. That should update as soon as I start driving. I hope. So the location on radar is accurate. I'll zoom in a little bit. So that's where we're at. We're by Rushville right now. So, yeah. These are kind of the pre-storms to the main storms. There was a little bit of lightning flickering. But yep, we do have a storm right in front of us, moving towards us. We're going to get into a little bit of rain here shortly. We're just chilling on a little farm road right now. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Drop a like on the stream, helps out a lot. We'll be chasing throughout this event until storms get away from us because they're gonna be fast moving storms today, but there is a 15% hatch risk area across Southern Ohio, uh, Southeast Indiana, and then uh, Pretty, they kind of expanded it toward in Kentucky. So almost the whole state of Kentucky is in a moderate risk for severe storms. West Virginia right now, you're definitely getting severe storms. A little bit of lightning. Man, another train. These clouds are booking it today. Not sure what the play is today just yet, but we might drop down to Greensburg. Um, my most, my best tornado chase. I really liked the Jewel, Iowa tornado. Kept up with that one from its inception to occlusion. Ashby, Minnesota was also another top one. So those two are probably my favorite. Yep, I've had a couple in Iowa. That Jewel, Iowa tornado was fantastic. Really executed well on that chase and saw the tornado from uh, birth to death. Yep, yep, this is a lot of fast scud. So this is the storm, a little storm in front of us, but they're going to be cruising today, as you can see. Look how fast they're moving across the screen. That is just wild. 
The location should update once we start driving here in a moment. I think we're going to head on somewhere. I don't know. Nothing. I mean, today's kind of like... It's hard to say what's going to happen today. But the Storm Prediction Center does still think there's a good risk of tornadoes for today. So we're right, big 10% hatched all the way from Ohio down to Alabama, a little bit of Mississippi in the western part of Georgia. So big tornado risk area today. So here's me chasing, probably don't need these sunglasses anymore, but you never know if the atmosphere recovers, we'll have some sun. So that's looking behind us right now as storms move off and back to the front view. So let's head south a little bit. Oh, there's a bolt. Love when you capture a good bolt. Oh yeah, and the thunder. Hopefully you guys heard that thunder. Little low thunder. Not in Ohio right now, in Indiana at Rushville. It's hard to see on the map, but yeah, the location will update once I start driving here in a second. Yeah, there's gonna be a couple chasers out here streaming. That location's off, that location's off. Sorry about that. We're in Rushville, Indiana. Hey, Jamie, welcome to the stream. Yeah, uh, big tornado risk brings out a lot of chasers. All right, I think our time, it is our time to move now and hopefully this location will update. We're going to go south where there's a little bit more clearing. So we're going to go down to uh, Green... Is it Greensburg or Greenberg? Greensburg. Indiana. And check out storms there. So let's move down there. Oh, got a little soft there. Do I need to turn around? Probably should level this back out. Nah, there we go. Zoom a doom. Let's take a look behind us, okay. All right, we're gonna head down to Greensburg. Hey, Kim. But it is stormy out right now, but these are just kind of pre-storms. We'll see what happens. This could kind of put a little bit of a damper on severe storms today, but the atmosphere is pretty unstable. But I mean, this rain does help stabilize it. There's a look behind us. So just rain showers right now, nothing severe. And um, I mean, there's a severe storm in Kentucky right on the border of Kentucky and Southern Indiana, but that's about it. We'll see if this location updates. Oh, da, 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 da. Trying to play my own live stream. Oh my gosh, come on, get to live. It might take a second to update, otherwise we'll have to do something fancy. Come on, update. Just trying to see if this will, if my location will update, because we're in Rushville, Indiana right now.
It is not updating. So we will uh, up here I'll make an adjustment and try to get it to update. Maybe I have to pause that, start it back up. This app is questionable at best for getting these. Would rather have this work, get this working now before uh, storms become more severe. Here's the train track where trains were earlier. All right, I'll have to, can I pull off right here? I'm gonna back in right here. And uh, let me get this, uh, location sorted out. I thought it would go when I started moving, but alas, it did not. Bear with me one moment. There was a bolt of lightning, a little frightening. Always something with these streams. Never cut and paste. Still working on it. Got to kind of hack into everything. Oh my gosh, this is such a process. Starting to get some heavier rain too. Holy moly. Okay, that's good. Let me copy this. Just need to paste one more thing and hopefully it updates and everything's good. Do, 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 do. Hopefully everybody's having a good Tuesday today. Boom, there it is. We got it. All right, hopefully that looks good. All right. I think we're good now, as long as I don't touch anything else. The temperature should update too, but who knows if it will. Could be stuck on 55 for the rest of the stream. All right, let's get... Let me pull up the radar back up. It's a process to get this all going. Yeah, I didn't get the most sleep last night either. All right, let's head south. Da -da -da. We got a can trains. Good, good. Let's get south a little bit. I mean, this tail end is the only interesting thing that's happening right now, but I don't know if we'll catch it, but that has the best clearing down there. Now, hopefully, it updates um, consistently. That's looking behind us, a little bit of water on the cam. That's me, hello everybody. 
If you guys could uh, subscribe and like the stream, it helps me out a lot. Really appreciate everybody being in here and chasing with me today. So gonna be an interesting day. Models are way off on what they predicted. So it's hard to say what's gonna happen, but we shall see. Everything is wet right now. We have been, done a lot of driving in the rain recently. So going through the town of Rushville right now, then we'll be heading south. Yep, tornado season is just beginning right now. So April, it starts to ramp up and May is, I would say, the peak in Tornado Alley and then it kind of shifts off towards the north, towards the Midwest. These are some high power poles here. No tornado watches or severe thunderstorm watches out just yet. Everything's looking very messy on radar currently. So nothing's really grabbing our interest or pulling us in that direction. But we're gonna head south a little bit because I, I, I just think there's gonna be better moisture return down there after these storms move past. Just because all the moisture is coming in from the Gulf up here. There's a tractor. This is your hometown, Rushville. Well, thanks for having me pass through. Much appreciated. Dun, 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 dun. That's looking behind us, going through downtown Rushville right now. Love to see it. Nice brick buildings here. I'm gonna be honest, this is my first time through this town, but I could always, I could see myself um, getting something to eat here maybe. I, I don't know what restaurants there are, but you know, another time, another visit. See, you guys got a stoplight here, that's nice. You know, a town's made it when they got a four-way in, um, in the middle of the city. Storms will be moving quick today. Oh, two stoplights. Yeah, looking to have a lot of rain today. So kind of looking at storms that are back towards um, Illinois right now, the Illinois-Indiana border. So I think that's gonna be the main line of storms actually. This is all pre-storm funness. So this rain is not what's gonna be severe. This is just pre-rain. I think the main storms are over near the Illinois Indiana border right now that are going to come ripping through here in a couple of hours. Oh, we have to turn right? Can I turn right up here? Bet you I can. If I was paying attention, I could have turned right. But yeah, we're in a little bit of a heavier rain band, but nothing too concerning. Yeah, 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 yeah. My bad, everybody. If I was paying attention, could have made this a lot easier. Casey's gas station. We could get gas, but uh, yeah. Good morning, Holy Chalice. Hope you had a good night. We're in some rain right now. Not severe warned. This is just rain. Heavier rain. It's gonna soak the ground before the actual storm gets here. 
But these storms are moving quick, so this rain will move out shortly. Let's take a quick look behind us. Camera's got some water on it, but uh, can see a little bit of clouds up there. Hey, everybody. Jake Hyman, Storm Chasing, Jake Hyman Adventures here. Thanks for tuning in. Chase is just getting started. It's early today. It's only 1 o'clock Eastern time, 12 Central. I'm from Minnesota. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. If you're enjoying the stream, it really helps me out and I appreciate it a lot. But yeah, some heavy rain going on right now! Some heavy rain! There's some heavy rain last night too. But uh, yeah. Nothing crazy, but maybe some localized flooding. Camera in the back still working. Beautifully. We got the rain X on the windshield just combating these little raindrops. Oh, oh, a little bit of piling up here of rain on the roadway. You always got to watch out for hydroplaning. Yeah, I could not chase today. 15% hatched risk by the Storm Prediction Center. Wawa Wiwa. What I'm watching now on radar, I don't have it up on this radar, but I'm watching the storm that's going to be coming into Indianapolis. So that is the storm that I'm kind of watching, watching the tail end there, call that the tail end Charlie. I don't know why it has the name of tail end Charlie, but that's where a spin up would be, but we're still a little early for that. And who knows if the moisture is really going to get up that far into Indianapolis. But uh, yeah, my temp going through the rain right now is 60 degrees. So going to need to get some recovery going on after this rain moves through. Plan today is um, find a fast moving tornado possibly. It's gonna be hard though. It's gonna be really hard. Just due to the fact that uh, storms are moving so fast and the models have not even came close to predicting what's happening this morning. So they didn't predict any clearing. They didn't predict, predict this rain that we're in right now. So a lot is up in the air, a lot of conditional unknown facts or unknown, unknown facts doesn't make a lot of sense, but yeah. Didn't get too much sleep last night, slept in the back of my truck, second night in a row. Hair is a little bit greasy today, so if you see the rain just kind of shedding off of me, because it's been like three days since I've taken a shower, just living out of this truck here. Um, but yeah, so that is why a little bit greasy today, if you're wondering. Oh, back to my main point, a little bit tired from sleeping in the back of the truck and it was raining all night and there were some big booms of thunder that were close. And a little bit of rain was leaking into the back of my topper on the back of my truck here. And uh, it was getting wet. And I'm like, oh my gosh, if I get struck by lightning, I am sitting in a puddle in the back of my truck. Am I gonna get electrocuted? But I don't think I would. Just cause I'm on rubber. And there was a lot more things around me than my truck. But I did have some antennas on it. I'm like, should I put my antennas down? But it was like downpouring, lightning bolts dropping all around. You're in Kentucky? Yeah, be weather aware today, Kentucky. You're in uh, pretty much a big area of the moderate risk for storms today. That's level four out of five. Maybe we can find an outflow boundary down here that's coming up that a storm can latch on to. So we will see. But I do think the better moisture is south, so we are heading south. Coming out of this rain now. Tweet. 
Let me know, is the location updating in like real time? I know we're, might, it might still be on the same city. It might have adjusted. Hopefully it is. Yeah, definitely need some sleep <laughs> insurance, but it's all good. We got enough sleep last night. Storms, the adrenaline, that's what keeps me going. Love chasing, love the grind of it. It's definitely a grind, especially solo, doing all these miles solo, but you need proper sleep to have a clear functioning mind, especially when you're chasing tornadoes. I'm on Highway 3 right now, heading from Rushville, coming up to Milroy right now, Indiana, and then Greensburg is gonna be our next town. So Milroy, little town of Milroy, and then Greensburg. So better moisture is gonna to be to the south, but this rain is starting to stop. Whoa, 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 buddy. You're running through some heavy puddles there. That car coming on, <laughs> coming in front of us. Appreciate everyone tuning in on this early stream on, on Tuesday. It's gonna be a longer day, but storms are gonna move fast. We'll keep up with them as long as we can. But if you guys could hit that subscribe and like button, really appreciate it. Thanks everybody for being here and tuning in to the stream. It'll be a great year. I consider the tornado season just kicked off or severe storm season just kicked off yesterday. Not too many tornadoes yesterday, but there was uh, just saw one picture of one down in uh, Oklahoma, but could have been some overnight as well, but not gonna be well documented in a QLCS type situation. So we will see. Says Rushville. Yep, we're heading towards Greenberg. Don't know why we lost connection right there. But it happens. That's chasing. Heading through the town of Milroy right now. We are heading south. We'll see what happens throughout the day today. Greensburg is in 11 miles. So we're coming up on Greensburg, Indiana. So now we're behind the rain, and this is where we'll see the atmosphere, how much it can recover. So we're looking for heat and more moisture to come in. So then uh, that can feed the new storm. A line of storms over on Illinois, Indiana border right now that I'm keeping my eye on that's going to be moving way so it could be a broken line of storms but those are the storms that i think are going to spin up potential tornadoes if there's enough moisture um, back there so we will see but there is a bigger storm that's kind of heading towards indianapolis right now
to watch for ice today. But Greensburg, Greensburg is our next city. So stay weather aware today if you're in even the enhanced, moderate, and even slight risk areas today. So there is a risk all the way down to uh, Alabama, but we are having tornado watches issued as we speak. So Evansville, you're in a tornado watch that was just issued. So that tornado watch is gonna go for the next five hours and 45 minutes. So kind of on those line of storms and Nashville, you were in a tornado watch as well. That's a little further south than where we are. But tornado watches, first tornado watches of the new day being issued right now for the new storms that are developing. We'll see what happens up here to the north if tornado watches are issued or not. But we are dropping south where there's going to be a little bit better moisture. Guess we can lay off on the uh, windshield wipers right now. Taking a look behind us, there is low level clouds, but that's about it. Atmosphere looks fairly stable behind this rain. Next town is Greensburg. But yeah, tornado watches have just been issued. Evansville all the way over to the southeastern corner of, or yeah, southeastern corner of Missouri. And then Nashville, you're in a tornado watch as well, over to Jackson, Tennessee, Clarksville, Tennessee, Bowling Green, Kentucky, Cookville, Kentucky, all in a tornado watch for the next just over five hours. Well, the Nashville tornado watch actually inspires in three hours. I wonder if that one was already issued. Guess I wasn't paying attention enough to the weather down there. More of a tornado risk and wind risk today than a hail risk, I would say. Families from Gary, Indiana, you're just on the edge of no tornado risk and a 2% risk. So Gary, you should be pretty okay today. And you got the lake protecting you up there. But tornadoes, water spouts can happen. So we're watching the line of storms that's right on the border of Illinois and Indiana right now that are moving us at a pretty fast rate, kind of a east, northeast, east, blah, let me just start that over, east, northeasterly movement. Quite a day. It'll be interesting to see what transpires. But we are coming up on Greensburg. Anything for Iowa today? Maybe snow, I don't know. What's the temp over there? I know that there's a cold front coming through. I know Minnesota got a little band of snow through the Twin Cities uh, this morning. But I don't think you have any severe weather in your forecast, Iowa. And I think you're in co the cold front's coming through. Uh, coming up on Greensburg. Greensburg, Indiana. Lots of moisture last night and tonight, or yeah, yesterday, tonight, lots of moisture across the Midwest and now the South and the East Coast, even over in Virginia, West Virginia. So we are watching storms off to the um, west of us 
on the Indiana Illinois border. They're going to move into Kentucky as well. So Kentucky might have a better chance of tornadoes today just because you didn't have this rain move through in the early hours today. But yeah, Louisville is clearing out as well. But we are just entering Greensville. You're right on the border of the enhanced and moderate risk area for today. So we will be entering into the 15% hatched risk area for today. Let's take a quick look behind us. See some rain um, behind us. I think we're going to top off on fuel in Greensburg. Look at the forecast and decide what to do. Indianapolis, stronger rain to move through shortly. I believe Greensburg is a pretty decently sized city. Should be able to find a gas station pretty easily. There's a couple horses for you. Flashing yellow. We'll keep it mellow. But yeah, this clearing behind here is what we're looking at for destabilization. Not looking forward to chasing in Kentucky. Kentucky, but uh, yeah, we're gonna try to stay I don't know. It depends on what storms want to do. We'll keep watching this line that's off to our west. But there is going to be more moisture return as we go further south. So there might be an outflow boundary that's kind of just sticking around to the south. But we will see. Last night the radars kind of went down, which was weird. We got this interchange here. Well, we don't want to go to Indianapolis because we just came up there. Greensburg, can I go straight? Should be a gas station if I go straight, I'd imagine, over the bridge. Whoa. This looks promising. We'll fuel up here and get a plan together. Look at some surface observations, see what's going on. I guess I'll go to this, this marathon right here. Cause I don't see a gas station on the other side. Yeah, it's a tough chase yesterday and today. No chases this year have been easy so far. But we shall see what happens. Definitely have some clearing, or not clearing, but non-precipitation skies around right now. So we'll see what happens. All right, green arrow, here we go. It's still only 1.30 here on the Eastern time. So Central time, it's just past noon, so it's still, still early. Man, is this the little way to get in here? Ah, woohoo, I didn't curb it. No cars. Are these pumps working? Why is no one at them? Is this expensive gas here? 
You know what? I think I'm gonna. What's this lady doing? Okay. I'm gonna spin around this way so then you guys can look out. But I'm gonna grab some fuel here. And I gotta go in really quick as well. And then I'll be back and we'll come up with a plan on what's going down today. So you guys can look out at the good old Verizon store. All right, gonna get some fuel and I will be right back. Give down the dash cam so you guys can hear if anyone breaks in or not. I'm just gonna take off my mic for a second. All right, I will be right back. Stay tuned. Thanks everybody for tuning in. This will be on severe storms eventually. So atmosphere is still primed for tornadoes. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. I'll be right back and get some fuel and go in for a second. All right, I'm back, getting fuel right now. All right, fueling up. We're looking good. Put my credit card away so I don't actually show that on stream. But yeah, there we are, getting gas. Empty out some things. We'll do a forecast breakdown. Let me get my mic back on. Took that off just to... Uh, let me switch over to this mic. 
There we go. Should be on this mic now. Seamlessly switched. We're just getting fuel right now. We're eight gallons in. Don't have too many, too much to uh, get, but we will see. Getting rained on a little bit from overhead. Questionable what will happen today. I'm trying to figure out right now. Ooh, it smells like gas out here. Eight and a half gallons, that's nothing. But we're topped off for today's chase. Ooh, that did not work. That did not work. Let's keep it on this for a moment. Where are my keys in my pocket? Good, good, good. I don't have chat pulled up right now, so give me a moment. But we are in Greensburg. All right, let's see what the heck is gonna happen today. Do we need to go south, north, east, west? Yeah, looking at the line of storms. Um, looking at this line of storms over here. So the red dots are all other chasers and spotters, but there's the rain that moved through. A lot happening on this map right now for discussions. But uh, yeah, so we got some storms up here by Indianapolis. And then we got storms over here as well forming. Am I still getting dripped on in here? No. So tornado watch issued over here, but yeah. Very interesting. All right, I'll pull chat back up in. That's not what I wanted. Got to do like a split screen thing on my phone to get everything working, but. Nope, sorry, not answering that. I think we're gonna continue to go south. Why can I not find my own stream? This is super difficult. Oh, and I get hit with an ad right away. All right, I got, I got, I got it back. Evansville is a little far from us, but uh, I think we'll head down to Louisville. I got fuel for 99 cents in, uh, during the pandemic when I was storm chasing down in Oklahoma. I was like, oh my gosh, this is insane. Yeah, I'm definitely, so on radar, we're in Greensburg right now, watching these storms way over here in Southern Illinois. So that could produce tornadoes eventually. We'll keep the radar zoomed out a little bit. Just taking a look at road options. Louisville just seems like such a grungy chase down there, but we might have to do it. We might head down to like Scottsburg, Madison, but we got the river right there. So you gotta keep that in mind. Madison's a good crossing for the river though. So we might head down to Madison. We're in Greensburg. Currently.
Yep, I do agree with you, Carl, that they'll intensify. Gosh, is south the best option, though? It's looking at satellite data right now and looking at a lot of data. A little bit tired today. Just trying to think of uh, what I'm trying to do here. College of DuPage satellite. Let's play that. Oh yeah, looking at satellite, I can see how how the southern mode is going to perform today. <laughs> so looking at satellite, look at it on the iPad, looking at it uh, on my phone, but it's the same data. Oh yeah, there's big clearing down there. All right, yep. Yep, we gotta head south. Let's go south. I do like the Madison area though. So we're gonna head down there. I think we're gonna take the route of like uh, Westport. Sorry, there's just so many things to look at and uh, to analyze. I don't have chat up at the moment, but I'll pull it up in a second. Head right there. Oh my gosh, we got this massive bus coming in next to us. Hello? Well, I'll get out of your way, sir. Um, do, 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 do. This and are you talking to me? What are you honk who are you honking at? I'm just trying to get everything working. Trying to get the right radars up. All right, let's roll out. Little bit of a mess here as we try to turn out on this road. Busy roadway. Still yet to have chat or location up. This red light will give us an opportunity to do that.
All right, I got you guys back up. Here we go. Let's get it. We got to go south. Looking at surface observations, we got to go south. So just way better clearing down there. We might be chasing the jungle. We might hit dead spots sometimes, but the stream will always come back unless, it, unless we really get into a dead spot. But the stream will come back. I probably picked the worst fuel option in Greensburg. But it was not that expensive, just over $3, three bucks. So not too bad, not too bad. Let's take a look behind us right now. Boom, clouds in front of us, red light. Once again, appreciate everybody being here. Chase is just getting started. We got to drop south though, but we got time. But the chase is about to be oon eventually. Hopefully everybody's having a good Tuesday. If you're in um, Indianapolis, you're gonna get some rain coming through here shortly. Maybe a little bit of hail on the Southern side of Indianapolis. Hopefully I'm saying Indianapolis, right? Indianapolis. I say Indiana, Indiana, but with Naples at the end. Once we get out of Greenberg, Greensburg, we're gonna fly. Oh, we, we got some light. Look at these clouds in front of us, though. They're scraping the earth, just touching the earth. Weather media and storm chasing makes the nation feel smaller. Uh, yeah, I mean, it does, but it, it it's also big. <laughs> But when driving, um, yeah, you can cross a lot of states faster than you think, as long as you have driving and stop at every, at every other exit. I ate once yesterday and I ate this morning. So only food I ate yesterday was a gas station salad from Love's and it was absolutely fire, super delicious. Probably the best gas station salad I've ever had. Hello, Maggie MC. Thanks for tuning in. We are live storm chasing right now. Not on a storm, don't have a target, but the atmosphere is destabilizing. Right now in Greensburg, it's currently 61 degrees. We'll see what the temperature turns to as we get further south. Clouds are scraping the earth today. As it start moving down towards the Madison area, just because of how surface observations look. All right, I think we got some open country now. Maybe. But look at these clouds just ripping from south to north. And they're definitely surface based. So I'm just coming out of Greensburg right now. There is a tornado watch out for the southern part the southern tip of Illinois and the southwestern side of Indiana and then that western part of Tennessee. So that was just issued. It's still got another five hours to go as a line of storms starts trucking along um, into the southern tip of Indiana. You can expect additional downwave tornado watches but look at these clouds wow
these clouds are crazy. There's the local police right there. Hopefully he recently did his spotter training to spot some storms later this evening. I know local law enforcement and fire like to do that. Got an ambulance right next to us too pulling up. So hopefully, uh, hopefully this area is clear, but this is right on the border of the moderate risk area. But we're going down to Louisville, Louisville, however you say that. Kentucky, never chased in, uh, um, well, Indiana, I've, I've chased here before. But Kentucky, I don't even know if I've. These are going to be fast moving storms, but yeah. There's the ambulance, EMS, fire department of Letts, maybe Letts County. We're going to be taking a left up here, so we will follow them. Look at these clouds. I can't get over how low they are, just streaming in from the south to the north. Pretty wild. Just getting some hazard spray from that uh, ambulance. Yes, this scud is moving quick. Did we get a new area discussion or is that old? Sometimes I can't. Nope, that's an old mesoscale discussion. So Indianapolis, if you're in Indi Indianapolis or you know anyone in Indianapolis, line of storms gonna be moving through there shortly. Remember, we gotta turn in a mile, so hopefully we remember to do that. We are not in Kansas anymore. That is very true button, green. Wow, this is actually looking, we're going to turn up here in a mile and we're going to get a look at the back edge of these storms that are moving through. They're not severe warned. They're just, it's just rain moving through, but we're going to get a look at them in a moment. I would switch the rough cam up there, but we're going to be turning into them and you'll get a better view with the main dash cam. So yeah. Once again, everybody, appreciate everyone in the chat, watching, viewing at home. No severe storms yet, but we do expect severe and probably tornado worn storms to happen soon. Well, within the next couple hours, there's a state patrol, Indiana State Patrol. Thanks for keeping our roads safe. Except you're probably looking upside down right now. I have my GoPro upside down, so I need to flip the scene, and it's uh, you got to press two buttons instead of one to get to my face view. But here we turn. We're going to be able to see the back edge of these non-severe rain shower storms, but we always admire some cool clouds, and it looks like there's maybe a little bit of Mematis clouds up top here on the back edge. Oh yeah, you see those Mamatis clouds at the very top? There's only a couple of them, but they're like little sagging pockets of cold air at the back of the storm. So you can see them right at the top there. Those are pretty neat. You only see those with storms. Sometimes, if you're lucky, they'll be a little bit lower, and then right at sunset, it creates the most beautiful piece of light work I've ever seen. We are currently on Highway 3 heading south. 
out of Greensburg, heading towards Westport, Indiana. Zoom in a little bit on the radar for you. But no storms in our current um, area that we're looking at. Appreciate everybody in the chat and watching the stream. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. We'll I'll be out here storm chasing. I considered yesterday the start of the chase season. Everything before that was just the pre-chase. Still a little bit of a mattis up there, right on the top of the screen and top of the camera. Well, that's cool. Yep, my mat is rolling off the right there. So they're not too distinct, but that's some cold air sinking down into the warm air below. So cool feature that only uh, not all thunderstorms. It happens with all thunderstorms, but with the right ones, it does. We are in for another wild ride today. Yesterday we got the drone up live on stream. We just had enough signal to uh, launch the drone. Yeah, signal might go down intermittently, but it should be okay for the most part. As we approach Westport right now, heading south. Just looking at surface observations, there's definitely storms that are coming. That's all I can say in southern Indiana, northern Kentucky. So don't know if we'll make it to Ohio today. But yeah, on satellite, it's pretty obvious where storms are going to be. There's pooling dew points of 66 degrees. Wow. Temperature 72, dew point 66, right on the Kentucky, Illinois, or Indiana border. The Kentucky, Indiana border, super high dew points. Let's take a look behind us for fun. A little bit of clearing up there, actually. So we had clearing this morning, too, but then that gave way to just normal rain showers. So this is the back edge of the rain showers, non-severe. We'll let those go, but storms are going to be cooking today. They're going to be moving quick. Um, if I lost signal, the drone would come back. So it would definitely come back. But I mean, if they uh, crash it somewhere, the wind takes it away. You'll have to go and find it wherever it crashes. Where is this ambulance going? Well, they're going a different direction than we are. Good luck today, Let's Fire Department. Let's go, Let's County. Let's Equipment over here. We will. Nope, want to look the other way. Let's take the roof cam and look at the storms from the eye in the sky. This is not the true eye in the sky, but you can also see a little bit of the mamatis clouds. 
on stream right now. So that is paralleling us or looking off. So that's looking off to our east. But those storms are going away from us. They are currently non-severe going over Cincinnati, Ohio. Positive tilted troughs linked with a short wave heading northeast. Yeah, it was a little bit delayed yesterday. I do like uh, negatively tilted troughs a little bit more than positively tilted, but we'll take what we can get, especially in this early transition from El Nino to La Nina. A lot of discussion going on on how the severe season will be affected by the transition. So I think there'll be a lot more storms up towards the Midwest, which is good for me as a Minnesota-based storm chaser. Keep it on the roof cam for a little bit longer, but I am getting some sun on me right now. Woo! Can't really see it. But there's sun. It's hitting me. But appreciate everybody tuning into the stream. We're just getting started. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Helps out the stream a lot. So appreciate it. Let's go back to that roof cam and flip you guys the right way. Here we go. Woo! Let's tilt up and look up into the sky a little bit. See what we got going on up there. That's the backside of just rain, pretty much. Non-severe storms. I would say thunderstorms. There's a good amount of lightning. It's a little frightening. Yep, destabilization is happening once again, but we said that before this morning, and then that rain shower came through and kind of put a little tamper on our day. But we do have storms on, literally, you couldn't make it up, going right on the border of Ohio, or not Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, and into northern Kentucky shortly. So those are the storms we're watching. They could become a little bit more individualized, uh, cellu like super cellular. Sorry, a little lack of sleep here, making talking uh, a little interesting. So give you guys a different view for a second. This is what we're looking at straight on going through the little town of no idea what town is this westport going through westport right now our next town is going to be north vernon and then vernon to the south of that then we got lovelet austin all the way down to louisville so westport you're right on the edge of an enhanced risk and a um, enhanced risk and a moderate risk today. So be weather aware. You can get some severe weather here this evening. That's looking behind us at the non-severe thunderstorm. Rolling through the town of Westport. That's looking behind us. You can almost see, let's see if we can pan up a little bit more. The entire storm, you can see the blue skies above. Wow, look at that view. That is crazy. You got blue skies, you can see the blue skies all the way down to the base pretty much. Road closed on or after 4-9? Well, at least it's after the eclipse, which is April 8th. Going through some trees. Hopefully signal stays, but just be a little bit patient. If we lose signal, it'll come back up as we get closer to 
other towns, but I don't think it'll be too bad. We're not in too mountainous of country yet. It's normally valleys that take out the signal. So when you get down to a valley, uh, the antennas cannot receive signal. There is sunshine out here though, but it's damp. Thanks for hitting that like button. Appreciate it. Yeah, West Virginia was getting hammered earlier. Those are the storms that we were chasing yesterday. They moved all the way from Missouri over to West Virginia overnight, moving at a good speed. Storms will be fast today. We do have severe storms in the southern tip of Illinois right now. And those might be the storms that come and target us, but there's also storms happening in front of those storms by Evansville. So I think the storms in front of the line are gonna be the storms that, uh, that are gonna hit. Our next town is gonna to be Vernon, Vernon and North Vernon. Definitely butchering that name, but we will see. That's kind of a cool shot with the sun almost directly above us. Yep, those storms, I expect some storms to form in front of those, the storms in the southern tip of Illinois. And those are the storms that are probably gonna produce tornadoes. So Evansville, be on the lookout. You got some severe worn storms coming at you and you're in a tornado watch right now. But we can expect a tornado watch downstream as well. So we're going to be moving into some clearer, clearer air here shortly. Once again, appreciate everybody tuning in. But there's going to be storms all the way up from Ohio all the way down to Alabama today. Large risk area today so stay weather aware we can't cover it all and give updates everywhere but we'll be covering it looks like north kentucky and uh illinois and maybe some ohio as well today i mean indiana instead of illinois drove through illinois last night it was raining the whole time yep northwest indianapolis you're you are going to be getting some rain right now non-severe warned but maybe some rain some lightning some thunder and then you'll have a little bit of a break and maybe some more rain and uh, storms after that there is some localized flooding last night there's some flash flood advisories out Let's take a look forward as we move south here. Um, the severe storms are moving fast towards Evansville. So, I mean, within the next hour, storms should be approaching Evansville. Will they be tornadic? It's hard to tell. A little too early to tell. But there's a line of storms and then a storm just south of Evansville that's forming right now that I'm keeping an eye on. So we're still downstream over by north. We're a little ways north of Louisville. Oh yeah, we'll be cautious. Not going to go full Paxton. There is a second Twister movie coming out. I don't know if it's going to be a sequel or if it plays off of the original movie at all but it's called twisters and it comes out in july what do we got here we got ourselves a convoy you're in north kentucky about an hour south of north vernon 
Well, we are just, that is our next town that we're going to be coming into is North Vernon. Then I think we're going to hop on over to the main interstate. Just because that's going to be a little bit faster than going through these hoopty has uh, roads out here. Hey, I don't, I don't predict the commercials. They just happen. Supports the stream. So thanks for, thanks for watching them. Much appreciated. So we still got a little bit of driving to do in a little bit before these storms get to us. And then it's game on. But you got to let the storms come to you on a day like today because storms are moving F-A-S-T. Fast. Storms are moving fast today. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Really appreciate it. Helps out the stream. Takes a lot to make these streams happen, but I love it. Love storm chasing. I think this is my fifth full like season chasing. Evansville is in a tornado watch currently. And there's a line of storms coming at you, Evansville. So be weather aware. Oh, come on. Ah, that's why. I think we're going to head over to Highway 65 to get on a little bit faster roadway um, and a little bit more east, west. So it'll save a little bit of time hopping over there than going, uh, than not going over there. Going through a little bit of hills, connection should be all right. You're welcome. We'll see what we get today for storms. We're just getting started though. It's still early, way early. A little bit after two o'clock Eastern time, then Central time, one o'clock. Normally don't start storm chasing until about four. But saw those rain showers this morning. And I'm like, huh. I didn't think they'd do it, but was questioning how this would recover. What did we say the temp was in Greenville? 60? 61? It is currently 67 right now on the truck temperature. So probably a little bit cooler. Truck our vehicle temperatures typically run a little bit higher just due to the engine, but it is wet. So it could be maybe a little accurate. Yep, yep, we're looking for a north-south road, a good, fast north-south road. Looking at satellite, there's some clearing and some agitated cumulus out there. So that's what I'm uh, basing my decisions on right now is surface observations and satellite presentation of the clouds and definitely some clearing right on the border of northern Kentucky and southern Indiana. So right by Louisville, you're probably seeing some sunshine or partly cloudy right now. And... Um, yeah, that is concerning. 
So this definitely, this line definitely has a look that's in Eastern Illinois right now, all the way down to uh, pretty much the intersection of Kentucky, Missouri, Illinois, Tennessee, kind of that intersection down there. Gonna have to be whether where you are in the moderate risk area today. So do be weather aware. I think we'll sit probably just north of Louisville. Is it pronounced Louisville or Louisville? What's your guys' take on that? Someone knows. Is it option one, Louisville, or option two, Louisville? Let me know what you guys think so that I don't keep uh, offending anyone. But these clouds are low. Let's take a look behind us. Eh, hard to tell on the uh, wide angle lens, but the clouds are low today. So we are now in Vernon, North Vernon. Is this where I turn? Louisville, all right. Louisville, I, I like that. Yeah, you're probably getting some rain in Cincinnati right now, but it'll move out, you'll have clear skies and then storms will come again. Probably more severe. We're still working our way south. Ah, come on. Yeah, the sun just means that destabilization happening. All right, there we go, green light. Thank you, thank you. Once again, just appreciate everyone being here when we're driving through blue skies, but severe weather is coming. We are in the moderate risk area now, 15% hatched for um, tornadoes today. So it should be an uh, interesting chase. Fast moving storms today. Storms currently are over in eastern Illinois, moving our direction. And storms could form, and I think they're expected to form, in front of the line that's developing in eastern Illinois. So those storms that are more by themselves are going to pose a higher risk. So those are going to be the storms that could be um, more, have a higher threat for tornadic activity. That's taking a look behind us.
Our next town, we're going over to the interstate. Gosh, I already forget what interstate it is. But Interstate 65 is where we're going. So we're heading over to Seymour. So we're doing a little east-west action right now, coming out of Vernon. A little bit of, you can see the scud up there. So letting us know that the atmosphere is primed and ready to rip. One, is that a severe warning? No, I think it's just an advisory. So no severe warnings on the storms over by that are just west of Evansville. So the storms still have a little ways to travel, but they're going to be moving fast today. I think we're going to want to stay a little bit north of Louisville. This is some nice cut. We're going to the drone to get a view over the trees and bring that to you live. These forecasts have been interesting so far this year. Nothing's cut and dry. You got to work for every storm. Coming up on a roundabout. Going to continue straight through. There you go, Lincoln. How's everybody's Tuesday going? Having a good Tuesday? I'll be right back. I'm just going to stop it, then restart it, because I think it's a little bit... bit better sometimes when you lose connection you can uh, lag slightly and uh, you just gotta stop and restart it sending it to the server so hopefully it's not so lagged right now yeah you do have you're probably Indianapolis and are the two locations that have forms but you in We have one car that is moving at a slow pace up there. Oh, what the heck? Okay. Yep, there is a line forming near Evansville. I think storms are going to form a little bit um, in front of that those storms as well, potentially. So there is some agitated cumulus in front of those storms but that line on Evansville is starting to blow up that's just west of Evansville but in front of it there's also big agitated cumulus which looks like a little bit of an outflow boundary right on the border of Kentucky and uh, Indiana so I think storms are going to erupt on that very soon and there's going to be storms in front of that line Our next town is Seymour, Seymour, Indiana. I'm not sure where the warm front is, but uh, I know dew points on the border are like mid to upper 60s, which is crazy. Still truck temperature is 67 degrees. 
So we're in a good spot for storms. No doubt about that. Plenty of lead time right now to get in a good spot if we see something that's starting to dominate. Could be going into Ohio as soon as storms get here and then we move, we track along with them moving towards the Cincinnati area from Louisville. But storm chasing, it's hard to say where, where you will end up. You never know. Go where the storms take me. So had some rain showers earlier, but now not, not getting some clearing, which helps with destabilization. But we're just moving into position now. So we will see what happens, but we're currently on radar watching storms over by Evansville and storms seeing if anything pops up in front of those that line of storms. But on a day like today you want to wait and let storms come to you, excuse me. Frankfort, Kentucky, welcome. Hope you're having a good day. Stay weather aware this evening. Today has a bigger risk of tornadoes than hail, but we'll see what materializes. Watching in eastern Ohio, you'll have the risk a little bit later on, but expect severe storms. Depends how far north you are in eastern Iowa. I think the northern half of I mean Ohio, sorry, not Iowa. The northern half of Ohio is going to be uh, pretty much pretty okay. You might have a slight chance of some severe storms, but southern Ohio, you should be on the alert today. Southern central Ohio, for sure. Yeah, the sun's out on the border just to our south. I see sunshine. We're heading east-west right now, trying to get to... Interstate uh, 65, so we'll be on Interstate 65 in four miles. Good luck, David. Hopefully you got a nearby, you got a tornado plan um, in place if something, if a tornado warning does get issued for you. Nothing severe yet but just thunderstorms right now. But we do expect an uptick in severe coverage as the afternoon progresses. It is only 2.20 Eastern time right now. 1.20, little after 1.20 in uh, Central time. Appreciate everyone sticking around and watching the stream. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Helps me out a lot. Helps out the stream. Keeps me out here. I'd be out here with or without the stream, but there's a little bit of a cost to run the stream, so it helps. But just have a big passion for storms and storm chasing. It's a lot of work, especially multi-day events. Definitely need to be in top physical shape which I'm probably not right now, but you know, this helps. So yeah, slight leg cramp. Well, if it's not a blood clot, probably. But, uh, just from pressing, been driving, driving through the rain, you don't want to put on your cruise control. So I've been driving manually. In case you get hydroplane, you can just react quicker get your foot off the gas and you don't accelerate and spin yourself out. Yeah, storms are moving fast today. It's going to be a quick event. Storms are going to pop up quick, go severe quick, most likely. Tornado warnings are going to be issued 
probably not have a lot of advance today on tornado warnings unless there's they're long tracked. Coming up to Seymour right now. Kind of watching what these storms are doing out near uh, Evansville to kind of anticipate where I want to go. Might sit in Seymour and just kind of wait um, on Highway 65 north and south and see what transpires. Let's take a look behind us for fun. Clouds. Let's uh, take a look towards Clearing, which is to our south. Southwest Ohio, you're definitely in the moderate risk. Well, Southwest, yeah, you're definitely in the moderate risk area today. So stay alert, stay tuned to warnings and watches. Currently no severe uh, warnings out for Ohio, but that will change as the afternoon and evening progresses. There's the clearing eventually, as soon as the camera spins around. There's the clearing. You see the little blue sky down there? So we we're just coming up to Seymour right now. Might head a little bit south, but probably not too far south. We will see. How do I get across here? Is this turn only? We want to go through this town. Not too often you get a 15% uh, percent hatched tornado risk area for this part of the states for the Midwest. I don't know, do you consider Ohio the Midwest? I don't know. It's a tough sell. I think if you live in Ohio, you consider yourself the Midwest. Storms are kind of moving right towards us from Evansville, long ways away right now, but they're going to move fast and we want to see what develops in front of them. So there's this four relief clover. I'm north of Madison, north and uh, west of Madison right now. So we're in Seymour, but there's the clearing. There's Interstate 65 right above us. I think I'm just going to wait here right now and see what happens. There's the Seymour sign off to the right. I think I'll take a left here and go pull off and take a look at the data and see if we go to, need to go north and south. 2.5 inches of snow in Iowa. I know Wisconsin's going to get some snow with this. This low pressure system that's moving through. Probably was a building here at one point. I don't know if we can show ads for uh, dominoes, but we'll see. All right, let's take a look at the data. So we got one storm that's forming over towards, let me pull up this radar app. One second.
All right, let's take a look at this really quick. Hopefully you can see the screen. Yes, yes. So these are the Evansville storms right here. Let's get on the right radar. So these are the storms, nothing severe warned yet. But uh, yeah, see this storm forming out front? That could be a problem. And I expect some more storms to form out in Evansville out in front. And those are the storms that could any. Tornado watch for another four and a half hours. So we're over here north of Louisville or south of Columbus. But yeah, these are the storms that we're watching. So anything that forms out in front like this one by Evansville, that's what we're gonna have to keep an eye on. That could get spinny. Not severe right now in Evansville, but you're gonna have thunderstorms. They might not get severe until they pass by Evansville, but it's hard to say. Look at that clearing, that's to our south. So definitely clear, maybe we should move a little bit south, get to that clearing. How far are we from North Louisville? Thirty minutes away, about maybe a little bit over. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I don't mind this spot right now. So I think we're going to sit here for the moment. Storms are going to be moving fast. We don't want to get out of position. Get out of position pretty easily. Live storm chase. I'm just posting some stuff right now to help spread the word. But I am perfectly content on sitting right here right now. Storms have not performed how I have expected the past couple chases. Models have not been very nice. Look at all that clearing though. Wow, wow, wee, wow. So we're currently sitting in Seymour right now. Just waiting for storms to start. Tricky forecast again.
I don't think I need to prep anything else. So we should be good on that front. Haven't looked at the forecast for tomorrow to see what's uh, going on down there. Gosh, that little cell moving through Evansville right now. I mean, we can intercept it, but. There's also a line of storms that's starting to form in Kentucky from Greenville to Hop Hopkinsville. Just some general rain showers right now up to Beaver Dam. But uh, yeah, nothing crazy yet, but. Just noticing some showers forming. We'll see. Oops. I don't think I'm going to call the number on the psychic board. See more psychic. Psychic tarot cards, palm readings. Wow. And dominoes, $6.99 for mix and match two or more. But they're not paying me. I'm not advertising for them. Pretty much all, don't eat fast food too often, but when you do, you get a way better deal through the app. And I know as uh, that sounds like someone who eats fast food a lot would say, We are about to start. This is about to get pretty serious pretty quick, I think. Whew. It's got a little adrenaline rush. Thanks, Kim. Appreciate it. Yeah, storms are definitely starting to form. As we look over here, where's the radar? Yeah, these storms out front towards Evansville, that's what's concerning. We'll see what happens, but we got to stay in front of these storms because they're going to be moving quick today. So we're over here on I-65 right now. But that Evansville storm is going to come right to us. We'll, well, it's a wait and see game today. We don't want to be too aggressive. So that's our storms that we're watching, but expect storms to form out in front of that. That tornado watch is valid for another four hours. A lot can happen in four hours. Expect downstream watches to occur as well. That Evansville storm has a little precipitation in front of it forming as well. Let's take a look at velocity. Nothing on velocity right now. What about on echo taps? Oh, yeah, we were. Yeah, last night there was some radar. Um, issues happening. 
let's look at the Storm Prediction Center's mesoscale analysis. Just need to make sure that I'm on my screen. I am. So mesoscale analysis, let's pull up our surface vorticity and surface to three kilometer uh, mixed layer cape. And we're looking over here, I don't know if you can see my mouse, but where the Evansville is, southern tip of Indiana, we're looking over there and we can see that there's a lot of uh, mixed layer cape pooling right there. Then it comes in. Yikes. The wrap, th these animated models have been so bad, or the models have been so bad at predicting today. So if we look at the surface observations, oh, I wanted to look at satellite. If we look at satellite, look at this clearing down here. Oh my word. Mixed layer cape. Pretty much a pool of a thousand being pushed up right now. So we're playing this nose right here. Lots of shear. Surface space cape. Looking good. <laughs> Sometimes it's fun to just look at the tornado parameters. So as you can see, there's a little highlighted area where we are. And then as we move forward, this stays as two, but models have been not good today. So I don't trust them. Don't trust them. Yeah, the sky is changing rapidly. Look how fast it's moving. It looks like I'm speeding it up, but it's not. That's just streaming in from the south. All right, we're watching these Evanville storms very closely. Probably gonna be tornadoes happening very soon, or tornado warnings, I should say, by the looks of it. They're moving into a more favorable environment. We might move down to Austin, just based on current movements, or Scottsburg, kind of like the east-west roads out of Austin that go over to Madison. Don't probably want to go more south of that. All right, it's about to get real. We'll get on these cells today. Let's head down to Austin. Because I have a feeling these storms are going to start moving right to left a little bit more.
These storms are going into a very favorable environment. All right. Da, 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 da. Let's head down to Austin just to give us a lit. I think that's a, it'll be a little bit of a better spot. No severe warnings yet. Just advisories out. All right, here we go. Say bye to those billboards. Hopefully we don't pop a tire in this uh, demolished building site. But let's head south to Austin. I'm happy with that, with those two cells forming in front to be 15 minutes more south. I'm okay with that. And good east-west options there as well. A little bit closer to Louisville as well. So I'm happy with making a trip south 15 minutes. Oh, it's about to be on. It's about to be on. Hey, Rapson. Hope you're having a good Tuesday. We're about to, uh, it's just starting to ramp up now at 2.45 Eastern time. We're in Seymour, Indiana right now, heading south towards Austin, Indiana. Going to finish off this Celsius drink, not sponsored. And we're about to get on some storms and do some real chasing. These storms are going to be quick. They're going to require a little bit of skill. A little bit of luck, a little bit of precision, but we'll get it. Bye-bye billboards. That is correct. Currently watching radar like a hawk, making micro decisions every second in my brain right now due to the Celsius. Heart rate is at about 230 BPM, so that's not good. A little bit of traffic going south here to Louisville. Hopefully everyone stays weather aware today. This could become a parking lot if uh, severe storms do cross over the I-65 corridor later on. Sunny skies in front of us, partly cloudy, low cloud cover. Hello to your daughter in Seymour. Stay weather aware this evening. Let her know. We'll see what happens. I think Seymour is right on the edge of where it's going to get pretty intense. But we are moving. We're not moving in for intercept. We're going to play this I-65 corridor for north and south so then we can get right where we need for uh, the terms because they're going to be moving quick. 
I was looking at road networks when we were stopped, and you guys were getting a free advertisement of that Psychic and that, uh, and the Domino's Pizza. No one better have called that Psychic, but I was getting a lay of the land, studying the road networks, getting them interlaced into my mind, just like a Neuralink. I'm just downloading information, storing it on top of each other's, adjusting their opacity, so then I have the perfect map in my mind predicting what these storms are going to do and where we need to go, when we need to be there to have the most opt optimal chase. Holy moly, that's a lot of Celsius. Not sponsored. Thanks for the kind words, Adele. We're having a good time. It is. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be talking, you know. But yeah, currently nothing on radar right now. We are in clear blue skies. That's because all the weather is off to our uh, west. I'll zoom out a little bit. It's gonna be a little bit uh, chunky, but. The storms are out towards Princeton, Evansville, coming into Jasper. None severe warned yet, but the environment in front of these storms is it's pretty primed, if I might say. Pretty primed. I do expect there probably is going to be some tornadic activity. Will we, we be on it? Most likely. Could we miss it? Definitely. We're gonna to need to execute perfectly to intercept these storms today. But that's no problem, because we are mobile. Storms are mobile. We'll meet at an intersection. Today's a game of patience. You don't wanna be on these storms right now. They will outrun you. You gotta let them mature, let them cook a little bit. Put them on the frying pan, heat them up a little bit. You know, you don't want a medium heat. You gotta, you gotta wait until you get that pan nice and hot. That's when you wanna step on it. Not the pan, but you know, the, the storms. It was like a little metaphor. Uh, yeah, you don't want to step on a hot pan. That's hot. The tornado whisperer. I do expect downstream tornado watch to occur. That storm in front that is now north of Evansville moving through, and then there's one north of Evansville going through Linville. Man, what is up with all these names and having Ville in them? absolutely wild but Linville that storm that might storm might become our friend and the reason why I'm going down right here to Austin is so then we can come up from the we don't have to drop down on the storm we can come up from the south and have a good view of it and not have to go through rain and then come out and then boom we're in a tornado so we want to come up to the storm from the south, but you don't want to go too far south because then you won't catch up to the storm. You got to time it perfectly. And I am all focused today on getting that perfect intercept. We might have the drone in there, we might not because these storms are going to be booking it. We got the 360 camera up top that will hit the record button once it gets spicy. Oh my gosh, this guy, get off of the treads. We're getting whiteout conditions here. Yep, those storms, they're just thunderstorms right now. They're not severe warned or anything, but they have that look and that potential to get going as the afternoon progresses. So the longer they can hold off, the better to get away from Evansville, get away from, there's a lot of towns out here and we just hope that they don't hit any towns. But we're here to provide ground truth. We will report our, um, report the storms to the National Weather Service to let them know what we see on the ground because people are way more likely to take shelter when they know it's a confirmed storm versus a non-confirmed one. If they see a picture of a tornado, they're going to take shelter or they might go outside to look at it. But if it's coming for their house, they should take shelter. 
So they're way more likely to take shelter when they see the tornado versus not. So that's why we're, uh, we're out here chasing today. And storms are just, they're fascinating. A lot of truckers using 65 today. We're trucking along as well. We're watching these storms keyed in on all aspects of the atmosphere. I stick my finger out the window and I can just feel the moisture here. We're currently at 71 degrees on the truck, so probably around 70. That is HOT, that is hot, that's frying pan hot. You don't wanna put your foot on it, you'll burn it. Got some pretty flowers off to my right. Rain rates are going up, according to Mark Nato. If those storms didn't move, you'd have a flash flood, but luckily they're moving super fast. I don't know how fast, how fast are these storms moving? Moving at about 50 miles per hour. 40 to 50 miles per hour. I would say 55, 45 to 55 probably is how fast they're moving, so they are cooking. Someone supercharged those, put a turbo in them, and said, here you go, let it rip. So that's the challenge of intercepting the storms today, is the speed. The speed of the storms. But we're just getting started. No severe warned storms out yet, just advisories out. But as the evening progresses, we do expect to, uh, more severe coverage. We're gonna be getting off at an exit up here and waiting for these storms. We don't want to overshoot them. You got to be very particular in where you're staging for these storms. So we're probably going to get off at this next exit to just, you got to play. It's a patient game today. It's a patient game. Let's take a quick look behind us. That's looking to our south, kind of. Where does that look to? That's looking to our west or east, sorry, I said about four directions. Correction, that is looking to our east, blue skies out there. So that is causing all the dis, dis instability. We'll go with that. This is me, hello everyone, welcome. We're just getting started right now. So whirl, whirlwind of big bounce, ins, outs. But thanks everybody for tuning along. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for future chases. Yesterday I said is the beginning of our chase season. So everything before that was just the pre-chase, but now we are into the actual chase season. So today is April 2nd and we are on chase number two. We did chase yesterday. We did the best we could, but storms did not perform yesterday as expected. Oh my gosh, that's Celsius. Um, so, yeah, they did not perform as expected. Do, 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 do. What's going on here? I don't like this exit ramp, it's too low. So, yeah, but we got an amazing structure on the drone yesterday. This radar that you're seeing right now is Radar Omega, but I also use uh, Radar Scope. So, not sponsored by anyone. If anyone wants to sponsor me, I will use your radar exclusively for payment. You can tell whatever radar company that, um, but yeah. These storms just need to cook a little bit longer and it could be danger time. Yeah, just getting hyped up for these storms. Capped off, that's uh, Celsius, not sponsored. Gosh, I give a lot of shout outs to these brands. Celsius is good, but it does make your heart rate thump. Gonna try to find this exit with a nice clear view looking off to the west so we can watch this storm that is now northeast of Evansville and cruising. There's also some storms forming to the south in Kentucky that still need to mature a little ways, but uh, yeah. But we have legit storms forming. 
but they are going to be moving very fast. Watch for ice on bridges, of course, of course. There's a side view of some trees, and you can see our uh, cell booster there a little bit. There she be. Austin is in half a mile, so we will take that exit. Just want this camera to be facing the absolute opposite way of us, so we are flipping it around right now on Interstate 65. Yeah, I should charge them for, uh, for the shout outs. But we're just coming up on the three o'clock hour here shortly in a couple minutes. Well, like a minute or so, less than that, but yeah. You can see the patchy clouds above helping destabilize the atmosphere. Sorry about that, just getting a little hyped. There's trees down here, but we can launch, we can get up in the air, we can see over them, but with fast moving storms, that's gonna be hard. We're gonna have to be in perfect position, perfect execution. Columbus, um, trying to think where that is, but uh, if you're in the watch area, be weather aware today, that's all I can say. Man, are we all going to the same spot? Come on, come on. We are moving at negative five miles per hour right now. It's hard to say where the strongest cells are gonna be. I would say impossible. to tell where the strongest cells are gonna be. But we will see. I think I'm gonna go back over to this other uh, parking lot over here for a second. Has a nice gravel pit to stop in. Sorry for making everyone dizzy spinning around. Yep, we're at a four out of five for uh, the risk threat today. Oh! It's probably the city where they get uh, some stuff. This is the direction that the storms are going to be coming from. Right over here. Not the best view. But we are now down towards Austin. And we are watching these storms on radar as they move into our territory. We've got to let them, let them cook a little bit, let them mature. Oh yeah, Columbus, yeah, you're on the northern edge of the watch area. You're going to get some rain right now and then it'll be dry for a little bit, but don't let your guard get down because later on this evening the storms will be coming for you. Or they should be, but models have not been projected how I would have thought today. So we shall see. Let me get out for a second. Stretch my legs. Um, and look at how fast these storm clouds are moving. Wow. We'll take a look at the back. Wow, those are two different pictures. Let's take a look. Ah, we can look in front of us. I don't care. Oh, here we are doing live reporting out here. Um, hopefully the mic's still picking up the sound. But, oh, wow, I'm out here. It's sticky. My pits are sweating already. It smells like severe storms. With a slight pinch of tornadoes, actually. <sighs> Time to look at satellite again. 
Uh, not seeing any rotation just yet. Storms need to cook a little bit. Storm north of Boonville just had its first lightning strike. So that's interesting. Wish it was 64 in Minnesota. We got 74 now. That temperature's probably delayed a little bit. Oh, there's a bird. Yes, I think Columbus will get um, some kind of watch, but it be, won't be until later this evening. Big day coming up. Big day. Kind of looking at that line right now. And... Uh, Da, 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 da. Looking at that line, the main line by Evansville right now. Not right now, but in a second. Looking at that line near Evansville, and it looks like they're kind of getting super cellular through Mount Vernon. I know we went through there earlier, but yeah, they're kind of getting a little separated in there. Starting to get a little bit of rotation in that main line that's going right over the radar site of uh, the Johnson radar. These storms are getting closer to us, but we got to give them time. Got to give them time. Clouds are rolling by fast. Let's take a look behind us. More clouds overcasting us. Just looking at storms. We will see if anything Spins up, looking at that embedded line over towards Evansville. Let me pull my radar back up to show you what I'm seeing. Because I want you guys to see what I'm seeing. So if I go to my screen, just got to make sure I'm on it. Yep, yep, yep. So these are the storms. We're over here on I-30, I-65. Sorry, I said 35. But individual storm show you where this, this is area to watch. These storms are now looking more isolated than in a line. So look at, they're kind of getting a little bit more isolated there. 
And each one of those could have some rotation embedded in the back of it and just sweep across the area. So they're moving at northeast in this direction. So, and we are about, we're somewhere right here. So we will uh, wait for these storms and adjust accordingly. We got a fast road by us, and then we got some we east, east options as well. But we're definitely in the right spot. That is for sure. Storms are cooking. Don't think I want to go any more further south than where I'm at right now. Pretty content on right here. All right, pulling that up. We're about to be in chase mode. I'm just checking batteries right now, making sure everything's good to go. Might record a little part right now for a YouTube video, depending on how today plays out. Recording and recording. We're currently sitting here in Austin, Indiana right now. Storms are firing off to our west, moving at about 50 miles per hour, maybe even a little bit faster. So they are booking it, but we're letting the storms cook right now. We're letting them mature and coming right to us, but I wouldn't be surprised if some severe thunderstorm and some tornado warnings are issued here within the next hour. I got like, I was listening last night, driving to, uh, last night driving to Illinois or where the heck did I go? Indiana. I was definitely blasting some techno, staying awake and just humming melodies. It was a good time. Good time. Sure to maybe thought about food today, but on a storm chase, I probably lose five, 10 pounds on a storm chase. Then when I get back, I veg out. Not gonna say the brand, but a uh, very good drink right here. This one's for later. Ah, we'll crack it open right now. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with cracking it open. So yeah, sleep deprivation, sleep deprivation, storm chasing, adrenaline just flowing through the body. I gotta incorporate this latest radar scan into my brain. Cells definitely getting more separated now. Wow, wa we wa. As they approach Interstate 35, 65. I think connection's pretty decent. But yeah, let's take a look outside. It's gonna be a good day. Let's check on velocity. Maybe some broad rotation within the line. Okay. I 
that northern cell is getting a little bit separated from its other cells behind it. Once that get, gets isolated, that's something to watch. Top of I-71 in Nikki, North Kentucky. Bad storms a little while ago, clear and sunny for an hour. Ground temp 85, swamp air wolf. I would have sweat running from my pits to my toes. That storm to the north, it's gonna go somewhere. Hard to tell what storm is gonna do what right now, but we are here for it. There's the storms in our distance from them. So they're coming into range. They're speeding by. Moving at 45 knots, that's not too bad. It's about 50 miles per hour. The main line's moving a little bit faster. The storms out ahead of them are moving a little bit slower. So they'll probably get consumed and eaten by the line. Noticing some storms popping up, just little showers by Louisville. Just gotta pick a storm and get on it. Let me look at road networks. It's a waiting game today. We got that lake there, that looks okay. We got a big, we do have a gridded network out here, kinda. We got one lake over there. We're looking good right there. And even when these storms, oh, it's getting warm out. 74 degrees on the truck, heating up. Heating up. Sorry there's not more much more to see. But it's uh it's a waiting game. Not an incredible amount of lightning right now. Ah, oh, there's some lightning out there. Louval, yeah, it's like Jeff and Jeff City yesterday. Learn Jeff City is how the locals say it, but it is Jefferson City. Evansville, you'll have the main line coming through very shortly. Non-severe warned right now, but just a thunderstorm. I don't mind our position right now. Don't mind it at all. We got a couple tornadoes live last year. There were good tornadoes in back-to-back -back days. The Spalding day that uh, the Dominator intercepted uh, that tornado. We, were, we got the tornado right after it, crossed right in front of us. A big special weather statement issued for just north of Evansville for 50 mile per hour winds and hail up to half an inch. 
moving east. They're saying it's moving at 45 miles per hour. I agree. A tornado watch still remains in effect till 6 p.m. It's a game of patience today. But they're moving northeast, so you can kind of cheat the system and hop back to... Um, hop back on storms instead of going at 45 miles per hour. So when they're moving northeast and they're in a line, you kind of jump from storm to storm. So it's not too bad for how fast they're moving. So yeah. A little bit of scattered rain. Scattered showers starting to develop west of Louisville. Go back to Columbus. I was never in Columbus is far away from me. Columbus, Ohio. I think there's a Columbus uh Indiana as well, but Columbus, Ohio, you're just getting rain right now. Then it'll be clear. Then your severe weather will roll in. Yep, Evansville, you're about to get some stronger thunderstorms. Non-severe warm, though. But yeah, these storms are moving quick. That one to the north is moving very fast. Special weather statement says, get this, at 2.59 p.m., Doppler radar was tracking a strong thunderstorm with winds up to 50 miles per hour in Penny Size Hail, moving northeast at 85 miles per hour. Good luck, good luck. You got one shot at that thing before it's in another state. That's not a chase. That's a witness. Howdy. What's that? Uh, it's coming over from like Evansville. It's like it's going right over Evansville right now, but there might be some storms that are coming a little bit before that so within the next one to two hours coming through here so just waiting for them to mature a little bit but yeah the atmosphere is primed for some some storms okay. so uh it, it's uh who knows but somewhere along here it'll get some get some pretty good weather so there's a good line of storms right now so but I mean, it's gonna be just a line and who gets hit the hardest, it's up in the air, but they're fast moving storms. So they're moving at like 60 miles per hour. So oh, wow. it's gonna be hard to, hard to chase. So you just kind of got to wait for them to come to you and you got pretty much one shot at them. Yeah. But All right, yep. Safe. yep, you guys have a good one. Thanks. Just some locals wondering when the weather's gonna come. Hard to say, hard to say. We are still waiting here in Austin. Looking at these storms, thought something would maybe more get going by now, but we will see.
Forecasting storms is difficult. Chasing them, even harder. A lot of cells building, unbuilding. Like, what are you gonna do? These cells are getting a little bit more individualized, though. So we shall see. But yeah, here's in the truck, chilling, waiting for storms to happen. Waiting to see what storm is our storm. Do we even have a storm? Whose storm is it? Who owns the storm? No one owns the storm. Can't contain the storm. Can't contain it. Let's take a look behind us for fun. Clouds are moving. I don't think a, uh, a high risk is in, the, is in the books, but I think the latest, um, uh, what is it, Eastern time right now? So a new outlook is due by 220Z, so that's in 30 minutes about. So we'll have a new Storm Prediction Center outlook, but I doubt much will be changed, maybe slimmed off a little bit on the eastern um, or western edge for what's already came through. But that's about all I can think about. Checking in with satellite. Those storms are ramping up. We'll see if anything else pops up. Still like our position a lot right now. Don't want to be too aggressive with these storms. But we should be able to kind of keep up with them for a little while. Yeah, we'll see what, uh, I think once these storms get a little bit closer to I-65 and Louisville, they will, uh, they're going to issue a new tornado watch, most likely for including Louisville and uh, southern Indiana. And we'll see what they choose to do with it. But it's getting closer. All we can do is wait. If we went on these storms right now, they would outrun us. But maybe there's an ingredient missing for tornadoes. It's hard to say. But I just feel like there's good potential today. Hello, Ty and Ebony from Columbus. Hi, all from Minnesota. I'm also from Minnesota, from the Twin Cities, so we'll be back in the Twin Cities tomorrow. Not doing any chasing, but just living life. Just living life. So this is looking behind us right now. Up to three inches of of snow. That's pretty good. I'm getting sweaty here as the temperatures approach 75 degrees on the truck. Wah wah wee wah. Storms are kind of struggling to grow up scale though. Not sure why. But maybe it's just a little too early. Needs a little bit more time. But there's also some storms forming now in the southern part down to uh, in Kentucky and Tennessee. 
in the southern part of Kentucky, just east of Paducah, over by Princeton, and then in Tennessee by McKenzie, Dursbury. I'm just spitting out city names and no one knows if I'm pronouncing them right. Hello, hello. Hello, Michelle T13. Thanks for tuning in. Let's take a look out the front camera right now. Room. I think there is a little bit better um, chasing train to the east of Interstate 65 versus to the west. To the west, there's just some rivers. We got some rivers, but they're all pretty minor and um, they have crossings. So we just don't want to get south of the, uh, and stuck on the, uh, I don't know what river this is, the river that runs by Madison. but we just got to let them cook. Storms are going to be moving today, so probably not a lot of stopping once we get going. We've been live for about three hours now, and we've been watching sunshine for a bit now. So appreciate everybody being here. Thank you for tuning in. Storms are approaching. Evansville, you are now getting some weather. Non-severe, though. Hard to see. Maybe there's some slight rotation by Evansville, but it's kind of hard to see the way the radar is and the winds are presented. But not seeing any blatant uh, rotation on radar right now. No tornado warnings throughout the area yet. It's still early, just coming up on 3.30 Eastern time. Tornado warning for Evansville right now. Tornado warning for Evansville. Get in your safe place, Evansville. Just issued right now. So this is what we're looking at, that little couplet. We just mentioned it, but I didn't point it out too good. That's core CC, do, 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 velocity. So right in here, broad rotation right now, but it has that look to it. So Evansville with the first tornado warning of the day. If you know anyone in Evansville, let them know because you are under a tornado warning right now. First one of the day. Evansville, Indiana, right on the border of Kentucky and Indiana. So get in your safe place. Sirens going off in Evansville, yep. It looks broad right now, but that thing can tighten up at any moment. Right now, I'm looking at the storm that's just north of that towards Somerville, and that's kind of the storm that I'm targeting on the back side of that other Evansville storm. 
There's also storms going out in front of um, that in between Louisville and the tornado worn storm of Evansville. Echo tops are going up. I don't doubt it. Haven't looked at those in a little while. Yes, they are green. Very green over Petersburg. Echo tops have not updated in a while, but there is an active tornado warning for Evansville right now. We're, we're far away, but we're in the path of it once it gets here eventually. We're currently waiting for the storms to come to us and then it's, it's gonna be chase on. It's gonna be chase on. The Storm Prediction Center has just put out a mesoscale discussion for our area. And it is for a, this is what they're saying, storms moving across Western Kentucky and Southern Indiana should continue to pose some severe risk this afternoon. Downstream watch issuance will be needed. Tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds all appear possible. A strong tornado may occur with any supercell that will that can be sustained. Chance of a watch. Um, they don't say it. They just say it, there will be a watch. There is no chance there will be a tornado watch. So this is the area that they're highlighting. And we are in between Seymour and Louisville. So it's about to get real. It's about to get real. Might have to switch into my boots for this chase. Just watching that Evansville storm, watching the storm to the north get a more isolated. I'm liking our path right now. We don't want to be too aggressive. We got to let these storms cook. But yes, Columbus, Indiana, you are going to be included. You're on the northern edge of that risk area and you're going to have severe storms coming into Columbus um, soon-ish. They're moving northeast. But severe storm warning for Bloomington right now. And that severe thunderstorm warning is for 80, 60 mile per hour winds. And the storm is moving at 85 miles per hour. Good luck catching that. Hail damage to ex vehicles is expected. Wind damage to roofs, siding, trees. So lots of damage. Let's take a look at radar really quick. So this is the Evansville storm. Not seeing too much for velocity, but the radar is kind of in a weird spot. And then if we move north, we got this cell that's a little more isolated. No severe thunderstorm warning on it, but that cell is moving towards us. Then if we go even more north, we got the Bloomington severe storm warning. This storm's moving at 85 miles per hour northeast. So Bloomington, be ready. We'll see if there's any rotation indicated in that storm. It's a little far from the radar site, but not seeing anything concerning. Maybe a little bit of broad rotation over by Peters Petersburg, Oakland City, maybe slightly as well. But there should be a lot more spin in the atmosphere coming up. Over here, if we scan over towards Louisville, we do have a storm initiating right over here by Louisville and uh, just to the west of Louisville, that storm has my attention. Also moving northeast towards us. We're in Austin right now, which is just up here, but we can easily drop down to that storm if that storm matures. But right now, these are the mature storms over here. So yeah, that is what we are currently looking at. But yeah, Evansville, be in your safe place. 
It's definitely got that look to it today. Storms are starting to pop up in front of that line as well. That's concerning by Levensworth. And do expect a tornado uh, watch to be issued shortly for the Louisville area. Sycamore, even Cincinnati for a tornado watch as well. Cincinnati's definitely going to be under the gun. later on this evening but cells just to our south kind of starting to fire off in front of that line of storms so it's definitely getting darker in front of us now as that line of storms approach but we are patient we have to be today because you're not outrunning these storms you can kind of keep up with them but Evansville, you kind of got, it's got that look to it, Evansville. It's kind of wrapping up. I'm going to go back to the radar and take that really quick. Let me switch radar sights to the Johnson one. Right here in this notch, Evansville. If you know anyone in Evansville, have them get to their safe place. Oh, zoom out, please. This little notch right here. Let me grab my little pen. This is where the circulation is going to be, right in there. So it's not tight, super tight yet, but it's starting to spin up a little bit. Play that forward. You can kind of see it getting a little more hooky in there. So that was a good tornado warning issued by the Storm Prediction Center, or I mean the National Weather Service. I think it's of Paducah over here. Wow, yep, that's starting to spin up for sure. So definitely got some, wow, look at these storms behind it too. Going all the way down into, uh, through Kentucky, into Tennessee, into Northern Tennessee, probably even more south, this Louisville one. We're sitting right over north of Louisville right now. And uh, yeah, this is our current view right now. It's definitely getting darker. Let's take a look behind us. Clear clouds, but those storms are starting to approach us. So we're gonna come up with a little bit of a game plan here shortly. What do we need to do? What are we targeting? How far in front of these storms do we wanna stay? This is going to be an all-day event until these storms uh, kind of get out of the inst instability zone, which is going to be on the other side of Ohio. So they're going to book it across Ohio and all the way down to the southern, uh, like, Dixie Alley area, Alabama. I got my door open here. It is hot. It is warm. These storms are approaching us. We are prepared. We are still in Austin right now. Waiting to see when this new tornado watch is issued. Evansville, you're still under a tornado warning for parts of Evansville. New radar scan just came in from Evansville. Um, doesn't look any more concerning, but doesn't look like any least concerning. Looks like there is some broad rotation there. You can kind of see down the rain on radar. It is hot. Why do I have my temperature set to 71? Batteries are good. Camera's good. That's good. That's good. Everything's going to happen very fast. Watching the storm to the south, that's just west of Louisville as well. 
We're in good position for intercepting that in Mad Madison if we if need be. So we got a straight shot over to Madison. Treat all tornado warnings seriously today. This isn't a day to uh, mess around with tornado warnings. Looking, I'm just constantly scanning the radar, looking for other rotation in the line. Watching that cell just west of Louisville, that thing looks, if that gets going, that cell west of Louisville, that thing could be an individual supercell ahead of the line. Your ex is in Evansville? Evansville? Well, hopefully he's uh, taking some shelter. <laughs> now could be the time to reconnect if um, that's the path you want to take, but not encouraging anything. Anyways, but yeah, this could be a pretty serious situation. The Evansville tornado is just radar indicated. We are going to have to get across the Ohio River. So I got all of the, um, I don't think we'd cross in Madison, but um, yeah, crossing the Ohio River is going to be not fun. We pretty much have to go up to Lawrenceburg to cross the Ohio River, I believe, unless I'm missing a crossing. But that's not for a while. If we keep up, uh, keep up on storms over to Cincinnati, well, we don't even have to cross then. We'll probably just go north of uh, Cincinnati. Okay, that's good to know. I kind of got a plan in my head. But yeah, Evansville still under a tornado warning. Let's see if we get a new scan going. We do nothing too crazy, but that storm is moving FAST very fast. Still watching that storm to our south in Louisville, just west of Louisville. Can maybe see it on radar. Just a tiny blob. I'll zoom in a little bit on radar so you can see it. Zooming in on a trackpad is never fun. But yeah, there's that cell just west of Louisville. But we have dark skies in front of us. These storms are taking a minute to get organized, that's for sure. But I wouldn't discount anything so far. Conditions are primed for tornadic activity. These storms that are going to be entering Indiana, the environment is pretty much, it's looking pretty primed for tornadoes, I'm going to be, if I'm going to be honest. Also storms all the way down into uh, Tennessee as well right now. I don't know any s more south of there, but I'm trying to just focus on storms that we are um, going to be intercepting. I don't know why I still have my car door open. It's so warm out. Oh my. 
New Tornado Watch was just issued right now. New Tornado Watch was just issued from all the way down to Bowl Bowling Green through Louisville up to Cincinnati. Trying to get um, trying to get more information on that watch. Do, 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 do. Chance for tornadoes is very high by the Storm Prediction Center. Probability of two or more tornadoes is at 70%. Chance of a tornado being EF2 to EF5 strength, 50%. That is very high for tornadoes, very high. Um, hail probability, 70%, wind, 70%, but main threat is gonna be tornadoes. Tornado just reported over Kankakeek, Can Illinois. Is that by Evansville? Where's that? Kankakeek. 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 Just seeing it on my Twitter, reported via National Weather Service uh, chat. A few tornadoes likely for this tornado watch. Cincinnati, you're included, even up to Columbus, Ohio. Bowling Green, Lexington, Richmond. So here we go. Have you ever chased violent wedge tornadoes? Some would argue that every tornado is violent, but I've seen a couple wedges. Uh, my first tornado was a little wedge tornado, an EF1 tornado, but I haven't seen one super violent wedge tornado. Ashby tornado was an EF4 tornado. That's the highest rating I've seen, but that was more of a drill bit stovepipe type tornado. Looking at right at Jasper, um, Indiana, that cell has a look to it. It's small right now, it's right on the leading edge. Evansville, your tornado warning is dropped. We're going to start making moves here shortly. That Jasper tornado or cell is looking interesting. Kankakee. Is that by Evansville? Not seeing, but yeah, tornado was reported on there, a little rope tornado briefly on the ground for a couple minutes it said by bob but via national weather service chat i'll repost it on my twitter if you want to take a look at the image Storm speed does have me concerned on if we're going to be able to keep up with them or not. But we will try our best. Ah, that's in northern Illinois. Interesting. Oh, I see where Kankakee is. Interesting, up by Gary? No way, that's crazy. Not where I would have thought that little spin up would be. Well, the storm west of Louisville doesn't look all that interesting right now. The storm by Alfordsville, Alfordsville over by French Lick. Those look interesting. The, front, the storm that's coming in from Jasper to French Lick. Wouldn't be surprised if that one went tornado warned shortly, and we're in position to intercept that. 
Call me crazy. Oh, my phone got too hot and closed out on multi window mode. No, not Illinois. Uh, uh, it was Indiana, I thought. It might have been Illinois. I don't know. I reposted it on my Twitter. All right. We're about to be locked into this chase. Skies are getting darker in front of us. Storms are approaching. Appreciate everyone checking in here and watching. Chase is about to commence. We're gonna have to go mobile, but luckily we can pretty much drive and film any storm at the same time, except for launching drones. Guess I need to have my AC on because my phone is overheating. Time to close out of all these, all the excess noise and get locked in for the chase because it's go time. The storm by Jasper that I have my eye on is um, currently severe warned. I'll zoom out on radar a little bit. Got to close out of that. Severe storm warning over Boonville. That was previously tornado warned. Patience game today. Three severe storms right now in the line. So we're kind of looking at that one in the middle right now. That's in Jasper going over to French Lick. So that is what we're looking at. Make sure to hit that like button as the uh, chase commences. We're gonna be on storms here very soon. Watching that French lick storm. I think that's going to be our storm. Now we just have to try to intercept it. Do we go up to Sycamore? Or do we stay here? Where is it? Sometimes playing the radar in speed can show you the movement of the storm. I like where we're at right now. So we will wait here. You don't want to get left behind today. Yeah, a lot of Ohio, Southern Ohio will be affected. Cincinnati, you are in the tornado watch for a 70% chance of storms. I'm just gonna go out here and it is still hot. Getting a little antsy. Getting ready for the chase. Got some bubbling cumulus to my south. Let's take a look at the south cam really quick. Nothing convecting right now, but bubbling. We're gonna be targeting Jasper and French. I think we can get on it. We'll see what it does. It has a little bit of time before it gets to us, but that might be all the time it needs to get some rotation going. Four, it's go time. It's go time.
Yep, I am looking towards Bedford. I'm looking towards the line of storms. Bedford, Jasper, French Lick. French Lick, love saying that town. Hopefully French Lick doesn't get it too bad here. Woo, it is on, it is on. I'm just gonna take a quick video, really quick. Let's see what we got here. All right. Storms are going severe warned right now. Not tornado warning just yet. There's been one tornado warning, but the line is moving towards us. It's getting closer. So we are about to chase. The chase is almost on. We've been patient playing the waiting game. These storms have matured and now it's go time. A little nervous, but uh, feeling good. Got the maps in my head. They're all layered up and know every route where to go. Let's get it. I had to do that if there's a little YouTube video. Yep, we're watching French Lick right now. Definitely has colors contouring by it. That French Lick storm's heading kind of right towards us. So we're going to get on that one most likely. Just seeing if uh, there's Sycamore. Unitown has a road to the east as well. We'll probably end up by North Vernon, but we're gonna to try to stay ahead of these storms. We are out of the rain right now. That is looking towards the storm, French Lake and Bedford. as the line approaches. Severe warnings going up and down the line right now. Had one tornado warning earlier near Evansville, but that was dropped. These are fast. These storms are moving, they're moving fast. So we're gonna have to make split second decisions. All right, we're gonna move up to the Seymour exit because that's where this storm is gonna go. And then we're gonna to have to head east over on Vernon. But Chase is on. Chase is on. Good to be back on the road. So we're going up to Seymour and then we're probably gonna head over to North Invernon. But we do got clouds bubbling up right in front of us right now. But we're gonna head north a little bit. So this is looking behind us right now. So we're, we're chasing now while we're being chased. We wanna stay in front of these until the opportune time comes to drop back. Plenty of fuel, so we won't need to stop and take time on that. Pretty dark in front of us. These storms are cruising, kind of targeting the storm that's going from French Lick to Orleans. But I uh, made the calculation that we need to get north a little bit. If you're in the watch area, make sure you stay tuned to warnings because it's going to get a little crazy for a little bit. 
But you don't need to be scared of storms. Just have a plan in action where you go if you have a tornado warning and you'll be all right. Looking behind us, a blue skies. That's feeding into this monster right here. So we're moving up towards Seymour right now, just in case it's easier to drop south than it is to go north. So yeah, lots of severe thunderstorm warnings out right now. No tornado warnings yet, but these storms just need a little bit more time to cook. There's plenty of wind shear out here. So coming up on Austin, not seeing any lowerings or any base yet. It's still a little far away from those storms. Let this Jeep go in front of us. And construction, construction zone, that's good. When we're in the chase of it, or in the thick of it, won't be reading chat as much, but appreciate everybody tuning in. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button because it's about to get real. We'll see. It's kind of a game of chance today if we end up on a storm with a tornado or not. I do believe there is going to be tornadoes. It's just a matter of what storms will have them. So you can kind of see those clouds up ahead, some towering cumulus up there. So that's north up towards Columbus, just Columbus, uh, Indiana, just south of Indianapolis. But during the southern half of Indianapolis, you do have a severe warm storm moving into your area right now. We are targeting the storm that is over Orangeville, French Lick. So that storm looks to have some rotation on it. No tornado warning yet, but it probably will go tornado warned here soon. But we're gonna be in perfect position to intercept that storm. It's a bit iffy today um, playing these storms just because you gotta stay in front of them, but you gotta drop back to see the tornado. So you gotta pick the perfect time to drop back. But don't worry, we're a skilled master in that. If the stream goes down, it'll come right back up. New here from the Minnesota snow. Welcome, welcome, no snow today. Severe weather currently. The temperature, you're not gonna believe this, the truck temperature is eight zero degrees. So probably a little bit cooler than that. Probably about 78, maybe 77 degrees right now. Maybe a little bit of a hook kind of starting to form around French Lake, Orangeville. Currently no tornado warnings in this line of storms that we're going to intercept. I'll zoom in the radar a little bit more. There's French Lake. Pape is a storm, the kind of the storm that I'm watching currently. We'll see what it does. But yeah, I'll be less active in the chat when we're chasing. And my phone kind of overheated, um, so I can only have one app up, and I need the radar app up. Just waiting on a new radar scan to come in. We can cruise up and down I-65 all day. It's no problem. Speed's not an issue on this road for keeping up with storms, but west and uh, east and west might be a little bit slower if you get stuck behind a slower car. Hey, stay in the lane, buddy. Stay in the lane, buddy. Hot shot driver. Let's take a look at, um, show you these storms from the sky cam, the roof cam. 
big blob of dark clouds that is looking towards the line towards oh my gosh excuse me towards orleans pape bono mitchell I-65 might become a parking lot once the storms get to I-65 just because drivers drive very slow in severe weather and like to park underneath intersections if uh, there's hail. But these storms are gonna be moving Right now we're looking at the Orangeville French Lick Storm. Nothing intimate, intimate, imminent, but uh, it was looking better a couple scans ago. It's easier to drop south than it is to drop north. There's a little bit of traffic out here on the interwebs of the, of the interstate. But once we're up to Seymour, we can definitely drop over to Vernon. But once you start getting stuck through towns, that's going to slow you down. Freeze here in a second. No tornado warnings on the line that we're currently looking at. Don't know if there's any tornado warnings in the U.S. currently. But maybe starting to see a little bit of structure as the line approaches. So far, I'm very happy with how we have chased. Storm's not growing, storm's not dying. It's just kind of maintaining right now. So maybe it needs to get into a little bit better uh, moisture. But that is looking towards Bedford, Mitchell, Bono, Orleans. Some pretty pink flowers out here. We're coming up to our exit in four miles. Don't go any more north, but we might head east. Trying to figure out how fast this storm is moving. Moving at about 50 miles per hour. That's a wee bit fast. A wee bit fast. Looking at Echo Taps. Let's see what we got going on. Whoa! Pulled out of. Storm 2. Hopefully connection stays. 
Yep, make sure to have uh, your phone, radio, some way to receive warnings if you're across the watch area, any watch area today. Severe storms are coming. Still no tornado warnings on the line right now, but we got multiple severe thunderstorm warnings out. Storm near Poppy, I'm still liking the looks of it for a tornado potential. We're gonna get off at this exit in one mile and then probably head, uh, we might give it a minute, and then head to the east. Probably expecting a new severe warning for this storm by Pape that's coming into Bono, Campbellsburg. This is definitely good on the north front, I would say. Gonna wait here for a moment, see what transpires. If this thing spins up quick, we can get right on it. Oh, this is our exit. Understood, understood. Except this city, we will stay what side of the, da, 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 da. even to the side of the freeway that you stay on matters in these moments. So I think we want to stay on the right side here. Just because we're going to have to go right and we don't want to have to cross through this interchange again. Still no tornado warnings issued for the line. It's waiting to turn on this. Had a couple of trucks in front of us. And that's what can wreck your chase when you're chasing fa uh, fast moving storms. There's no light here, so it's very hard to turn. Oh, we made it. I'm gonna go on the other side of these lights just because that's how long it's going to take us to get uh, I don't want to have to wait on lights to go east west but if we got to drop south it's a hard call it's a hard call that's looking directly behind us We're gonna get off of 35 for, or 65 for a moment. What do we got, a turn only lane here? No. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Only, dang. All right, so I did get in the wrong lane.
had to rip it in front of him for a moment. Oh wow, there's some traffic. We might have committed ourselves to going this way. That's all right, we're good. We are good, because we're gonna have to go this way anyways. That is looking behind us. So we're now kind of on a route to North Vernon. Heavy traffic, I would say right now, on this road. Coming out of Seymour. Storms are kind of congealing into a line. Look at all this traffic in front of us. Wow. We want to keep up with these storms, so we're not going to fall behind. They're not tornado warned and they're not spinning currently. So we got to stay ahead of them. If they were tornado warned, it'd be a different story and we'd be hopping on them. But they are not. So we're coming out of Seymour right now. Still watching that storm by Orleans. Going to be uh, still seeing some rotation by Orleans, Camsberg, Camsbelberg. So we might find a nice open spot up here and pull off and wait for this storm, see what happens. We don't want to get too far in front of it. But we got to play it smart. I think I just have, uh, I'm paranoid about last year on March 31st, over just over a year and two days ago, in Iowa, in the high risk, I fell behind on storms, and I never caught up, and I saw the tornado from about five miles away. Very sad day. I think we got some farm field up here to pull off into. So we'll get over there and then that's where we can see some more uh, storms. I like our positioning right now. got out of that town and the storm still looks like the rotation is there we'll be pulling off here in a moment gonna go pull up here on the other side of this farm field or get a view at least what is this a business all right we'll block their gate for a moment we got to let this storm cook got to let it mature No severe warning on it right now. Definitely a messy storm mode, so we just want to stay in front of it. Not seeing any tornado warnings issued right now throughout the line or throughout the uh, US.
letting this storm come to us. We want to stay in front of it. Still very messy. I am surprised at how messy it is. I thought they'd get more individualized. Looking at velocity, maybe some rotation, very broad, coming into French Lick. Well, French Lick looks like some rotations coming in there. Campbellberg, so kind of a two training storms right there. So watching rotation. Gonna put my, make sure my lights are on for safety. We got plenty of fuel, we are ready to go. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Really appreciate it, helps out the stream. We're live whenever we can, storm chasing. So thank you, appreciate everybody watching. We're just getting started right now. But yeah, some rotation right by French Lick. And by Campbell, kind of training. Could be a double tornado situation. Cam camps. Campbellberg, Campbellsburg, <laughs> that's a fun name. And Bono, those areas, looking at areas of rotation there. But we gotta let the storms mature. Would not be surprised if a tornado warning got issued um, for the storm that's coming right at us, coming out of French Lick and then the little cell in front of it. We are in position to intercept. Thanks, Vicki. We have decent chase train here. So not too concerned, kind of a pretty decent road network despite all the rivers. You just need to make sure you don't get caught in one of the rivers. Watching by Bono, Campbellsburg, and on the backside, French Lick. We might even just start going over to Versailles. Then we're coming into Cincinnati very quickly. And moving through Cincinnati is not fun, so I was hoping something would get going before that. <clears throat> we'll watch the storm from here for right now. We're right on the edge of a rain band, so we're probably gonna get some uh, rain here shortly. All right, I'm back. I had a coughing attack, probably from just adrenaline pumping through my veins. Storm Prediction Center does maintain that um, severe outlook. Howdy, partner. 
15% hatch tornadoes for our area. All right, we're going to start moving towards... We just got to start moving to the east. We got to stay ahead of these storms and then drop back once they become tornado warned. So it's going to be a little dangerous that way, but we have data. We have data. Still looking at rotation right by Camp Bellsburg. So that's what I'm watching right now. This road is busy. Versailles. I, I guess I can't read, so I'm just pronouncing it wrong. Yeah, we're gonna go to Vernon. This car is waiting to churn and it just cannot. So good thing we came here when we did. And go. Now I need to wait for all the traffic behind this car to clear. This is a slow road, so we want to start moving down it right now. Gosh, I'm surprised that's not tornado worn by Camp Bellsburg, to be honest. It has some rotation in there. How is that not tornado warned? Right by Camp Bellsburg, Stolido. I don't get it. I should be paying attention to where I have a break. Unfortunate. We got a break in action to the left, none in the right. But we're just watching radar. I don't mind sitting here right now. Clear to the right. Reminder, do not pull off. We just had to go for it. All right, let's take a look behind us. Still seeing some rotation by uh, Bono. Very broad area. Winfieldsburg. But that storm would go south of us right now, so we are going to head more east. Where's everybody watching from? If you're in the watch area, just make sure you have ways to receive warnings. We have some pretty good open country. We do have storms in front of us too. Little bit of a mattice right above us, some sinking, cool sinking air. Thanks for tuning in. Just getting, seeing what these storms are doing. Not just getting started, but uh, these storms are starting to do something. Man, there's been one tornado warning though, which is good, but uh, yeah. So kind of watching the area by Camp Bellsburg. 
Hello, hello, a lot of viewers in the affected area today. Try to shout out as tornado warnings happen, but haven't had too many yet. Yes, Evansville did have a tornado warning, but now it is all clear there. All right, I am getting concerned by this storm by Camp Bellsburg. So I am seeing rotation on radar. Not warned yet, very broad, but if it tightens up, oh boy but it is coming towards us. It's got a ways to go, but these storms are starting to shift, moving more of an easterly direction than a northeast. Here's a look in front, getting a little bit of sprinkles right now and not the candy flavor. Ease up. Might lose a little bit of signal through here, but I think we came through here before and it was mainly okay. But you see that cell down in the bottom left of the radar? That is the cell that we're watching right now. It's got some broad rotation, so you're looking back at it, but um, it's still a little far away. Might be a little bit more to the south too, but yeah. Not seeing any tornado warnings up here. I'm not scanning the whole risk area though, so. I know there was some individual supercells kind of happening to the south. Name of the game is staying ahead of these storms today. No tornado warnings just yet. There was one earlier in Evansville. Broad rotation, Camp Ellsberg. No tornado warning though, not even severe warned, but has lightning, has power. Slowing down, coming into um, Vernon. We're gonna be going through the city, so that's gonna take a little bit. That's why we gotta get here earlier, but a little bit of Mimatis up there. Little bit of sinking air, some of Mattis clouds. Got to slow it down though. Do have a round roundabout up here. Good luck, sir. Oh my gosh, his load shifted forward and busted through his trailer. Yikes. Let's take a look behind us. That's pretty impressive. Nope, want to look the other way. So just going through this roundabout right now. And we want to go this way. Gonna have to adjust the camera as we twist and turn through these roads. But there is some rain that's approaching us. These cells might be getting a little bit more um, individualized. 
the cell that I'm watching kind of is getting a little bit more isolated. Broad rotation on radar, no tornado warning yet. Maybe the storms are moving a little bit more east, but we also have some towering cumulus right in front of us. What the heck? Very much in its infancy though. Not sure where we will end up, but we got to play the trains and the cards that we are dealt. Storm chasing is all about logistics and navigation, especially on these high moving days. So storms right by Salem. Um, right now, just north of Salem, that's the one I'm looking at. You can see it on radar in the bottom left screen, left hand side of the screen. It's a little bit isolated. That is the storm that I am eyeing. But right now, it's going to probably go over Vernon. So we need to get through the city and out the other side. So then we can get on the southern edge of it if it does come this way. So I think it needs a little bit more time to cook. 75 degrees right here. But there's also rain showers developing to our south as well. So what a messy day. Tornado warning just issued um, west of Louisville in Kentucky. So Louisville, get ready. It's gonna be more of a QLCS type tornado. So if you know anyone in Louisville, let them know on the outskirts of Louisville, there's a tornado warning and to keep their eye to the warnings. I wanna say eye to the sky, but shouldn't really be looking out when there's a tornado coming your way. You should be in your safe place. So that is the second tornado warning issued of the day. The first one was Evansville. Now we got one just outside of Louisville, Louisville. We're going through Vernon, Vernon. Still looking at rotation. Just of Camp Bellsburg. But we have to move as well to keep up with this storm. When other tornado warnings happen, it's harder. It's hard to focus on everything that's happening. You need to sometimes just focus on your storm and play your storm. Today, you're not going to be able to hop down the line to different storms. That's just not happening. So you need to focus on your storm, and whatever happens, happens. Hopefully, other chasers are on uh, the other storms so they can report what's happening on the ground. We're gonna get through this town though. I still think the storm that I'm on has tornadic protect rod rotation in there, but it's, it might be getting cut off by other storms. Hard to tell. There is Vernon. We're at a red light right now. Our arch enemy. Well, if it's rain wrapped, we probably won't see it unless we're in it. So most likely we will not see it if it's rain wrapped. But um, yeah, that tornado down by Louisville you are probably not going to be able to see that one. QLCS type tornado. That's going to spin up quick. I want to go straight here. Moving through the town now because going through towns is slow. I mean, we got stop signs, we got lights, we got other drivers. So you got to plan ahead. That's why we're ahead of the storm.
We can drop south if this storm looks like it's gonna produce a tornado. But right now we're gonna parallel it um, on a good, we're on a good east-west road. So instead of dropping down, we're gonna stay on a good east-west road. I have a green arrow, you shouldn't move. This is a crazy intersection. Going over train tracks, I supposed to yield to that? How do I yield to that? I just came out of the yard. All right, now we are through Vernon. Still looking at rotation. I think this storm's gonna go tornado worn by, by that's coming up to Crother's, Crotherville. So I would not be surprised if that one went tornado rod rotation right now, but we'll see if it tightens up. We're kind of north of the storm right now. I thought it was going to go more northeast, but it's kind of just going east. But this storm is going to be eventually coming through Cincinnati. The storm is now just coming up to 65, where we were before, just south of Seymour and to uh, Austin, but uh, we could not stick around. We have to stay ahead of this storm because they're moving fast. We're in untested for the cell signal, but if the stream goes down, it'll come right back up. Appreciate everyone tuning in. We got one tornado warning out right now. We are not on it, but it is south of uh, Louisville, or west of Louisville. Coming up to a roundabout up here, we're going to take a right. We've got Mamatis clouds right in front of us up here, too. Is that supposed to turn there? No. Kind of see the Mamatis clouds at the bottom of them. I'll get the camera better orientated once we get on this road. Of course, I'm turning left, Jake. It's a roundy. We might pull off here for a second. I am. Da, 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 da. Man, we might have to drop south, but this is the best east-west road we definitely have because you need a fast east-west road. We're going to go a little bit north on here. But yeah, towards Versailles, Butlerville is our next city. I don't know how much more north I want to go, though. But we can drop south at any time. Watching that cell that's individualized to our south um, west or isolated. Eventually, we're going to have to get on it. Probably going to pull off up here and uh, take a look. Man, that cell looks good, that one that we're targeting. No doubt about that. I probably should have pulled off there. We'll find another road. We just want to get out of the cities, you know? Lots of farm fields up here to see some stuff. Rain starting to intensify to our south as well. Hopefully you can see the radar a little bit better. Smells like something.
We definitely got another chaser behind us. It's got a WeBoost internet as well. Not sponsored. That is looking behind us. Let's take a little look to our south here. Oh yeah. There's that rain that to our south. We are chasing. Well, we're being chased. Normally we're chasing, but you gotta have a different strategy for days like today. Okay. But south of here, it looks so messy. Still broad rotation in between Little York and uh, Croc Crothersville. So the storm that's coming into Crothersville, a little bit of rotation. Coming up to Butlerville now. But we do have a river to our south, so that's going to do us no favors for crossing it. It's just a little river. There is road crossings, but we'll see. We also got Tower and Cumulus in front of us, way up there. So that's looking towards uh, Cincinnati. So Cincinnati, you got a storm that's developing just to your west. We are now in Butlerville. Still looking at this rotation. We're gonna have to drop south eventually, but no good river crossings. Maybe up here by Versailles and then we drop south. Versailles, Versailles. No tornado warning yet. Rotation does look to be intensifying. We're out of position if it drops the tornado right now. But, yeah. I think we get up to Versailles and then we go south a little bit. Try to intercept this thing and get a little bit of luck on our side. That uh, drops the tornado in an open field. Don't need much luck, just a little bit. Let's pan back a little bit, other way. Got some trees in the way, but. That storm that's coming into Crothersville. We got lightning all around us too. Starting to get an uptick. Tornado warning on the storm that we're looking at. We're going to be dropping south here soon. I'm looking at road networks right now and it is looking bleak. And cell signal would be bleak. But that storm is tornado warned now. We got to get south. Big tornado warnings coming out all around us. Where the heck is Lovelit on this thing? 
full chase mode right now. This thing's starting to crank. Yep. All right, here we go. Gosh, these roads suck. Who's right behind us? I know there's a line of chasers on this uh, <laughs> on this road right now. But yeah, I think we're going up to Versailles and then we're dropping south. What if we want to go? Let's put in different dots on the map. Still shows that's the fastest, huh? What if we want to go down to Rexville? Okay, I got a path to drop us south, but then the only thing is, can we get west? We gotta, yeah, think of the future. We got a crossing right there. This is a lot of navigation. Pleasant. Okay. The map, the cities on my radar scope are not the same cities on my Apple Maps. All right, we're gonna be churning up here in a couple miles. In five miles, so we're well to this thing. Could be on the ground. It's going right over Austin where we were sitting before. So, oh my gosh. We might be too ahead of this thing, but that's all right. Could have sat in Austin the entire time. Instead of going through the sticks of the woods. We're gonna cut in front of this uh, tornado worn storm. There might be a tornado on the ground. Do not know right now. Still says radar indicated, so not confirmed just yet. But going right over Austin, I-35. But we're going south here in 3.8 miles. Yep, we were in Seymour before. Gotta get south. We'll be in good position for this storm. It's just starting to ramp up right now. Probably should have went south at uh, North Vernon, but if we we can only do so much with the information we're presented. We 
We are coming up to uh, Holton right now. And we will be dropping south in two miles. Taking a little shortcut. Connection might get iffy, but we'll get back on a main road. Um, but yeah, taking a shortcut. Need to get south. Need to get south. Austin, get in your safe place. Lovelick, get in your safe place. DuPont, get in your safe place. This storm looks like it's going to be the real deal, but still radar indicated. There's definitely rotation on radar. We're churning in 2.1 miles. We're going to go through a little bit of rain. Then we're going to be on it. I thought the storm was going to go more northeast than east, but alas. We're going to go down Old Michigan Road. It's a nice straight road south. Hopefully it's not gravel. If it's pure garbage road, we'll have to come back on this road, unfortunately. But uh, I think it's paved. This is the storm that we've been watching for a while. We're a little out of, out of position, but uh, we'll get her. We're playing the long game. If you know anyone in the path, let them know. Please like, share, and subscribe to the stream. Helps me out, helps out the stream. We're gonna be on this storm very shortly if this tornado is still, if it's on the ground and uh, yeah. But I like her positioning right now. There's also some rotation to our south as well. Turning in half a mile. Lightning flash. We're behind some other cars. We're gonna zoom down this. We gotta go through some rain first though. We got the other storm chaser following us. But we do have a little bit of rain to go through first. We got seven miles on this road till we're on the, we won't be in the rain for too long. But once we're on the other side of this rain, don't worry about this rain. It's not true. There's no tornadoes in here. It's just the rain in front of the storm. But once we get through it on the other side, we'll be able to see. This is up. through here just with the rain. But we're not going to be in this rain for very long. Still radar indicated tornado warning. Whoever's behind me, tell them to turn their lights on. I see the edge of the rain up here. You can see the clouds. So we're almost out. We're zipping down this road. Beautiful road here. Blessed be paved.
All right, we're coming out of the rain. Here we go. All right, we're on the south side of this first storm. The other storm does look like it's going bonkers. We're gonna have a good view here in a bit. We'll get connection back in a second. Hopefully some stream is coming through. We're at New Morris right now. What you're looking at is the tornado worn storm. Okay, this person's turning out of our way. Very helpful, thank you, thank you. Because you were moving at pretty slow. Do have two other storm chasers behind us. Not sure who it is, but that's cool. Got a lot of woods over here though. I think we still need to get south. It's like a wildlife sanctuary here. DuPont, get in your safe place. It's gonna go kind of over Lancaster, I think. So we're probably right in the path of where it's gonna come right now. So we're gonna get a little bit more south. It looks like it's cycling right now. And I hate these trees. It's 
So we're still a little ways away from it, but it's moving quick. Coming up to a road, not sure what road, but a road. Hmm. Not sure where next, I'm looking at east-west roads right now. Might have to go a little bit more south, and then we do a farmland on the other side. But yeah, they put a nature reserve right next to us, so we can't see anything. But we're right in the path of where the tornado is going to go, if it is on the ground. We also have rotation to our left as well. It's a narrow road. Oh, we're trying to look to our left as well. There is lowering to the left. Wow, okay, we're kind of in between two rotations right now. Should we bag this one to the left quick? Not as tight rotation to our left, but we will see. I'm gonna put this camera back. Man, we are pushing down this road as a group. Coming in hot. Two areas of rotation, we're right in between them both. The one we can see off to our left here, we're gonna get a good view of it in a moment. One lane bridge right here. Hang on. That was crazy. So much woods blocking our view towards the tornado warning. But here's our other circulation right over here to the left. We're gonna go to the south a little bit. There's an area to pull off right there. That's all right. I'm going to kind of sit and wait right over here. So there's an area of rotation right there, but that is not the tornado worn storm. I gotta spin around here really quick. 
Oh my gosh, they make the narrowest roads here. Tornado is going to be coming in from that way. Um, I just needed a second to take a look at this. How much in the path are we? Hmm. Looking at east-west roads right now, and this one's not it. What a bad time to have to pee, huh? Well, look, option for really, how do we get over there? You know, we're gonna go, I feel like this is the right move. We're gonna go north. One road, because then we have a good east-west road for um, to escape, and we're gonna have a great view. This thing's gonna come right for us, though. So hang on. Oh shit! All right. I don't mind the spot. It is kind of coming towards us. Um, doo -doo -doo. Oh, we might have to drop south. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. It's so hard to see, though. If we got an east-west road, though. It is observed. It's on the ground. We got to turn around. We got to turn around, I think. This is my east-west road, but it might be too much in the path. We have north-south, east-west road, so we got options. This is about to get as real as it gets. Hang on. Got to start up my cameras. I think we're gonna have to go south a little bit. Just got to start up my cameras really quick. I see a lowering back there. Yes, right before the chase. Have to use the restroom. Oh, this feels good. All right, I think I see a lowering wall cloud on the other side of those trees there. We're not in the best spot right now, but we got wheels. I looked at the roads, so we got an exit plan. Starting up my cameras back here.
think it's gonna go south of here though. All right, here we go. Where is this tornado moving? Where is this tornado moving? That's gonna be the tornado right over there. There is a bolt. Make sure to share the stream, guys. We're about to have a tornado on stream. Here we go. We got east-west roads, we got escape options, we are good. We got north-south options out there, so we are good. We might have to go south a little bit, but then our view gets obscured. Do have another farm road over here. That's where the tornado is going to come out of. It's coming for us right now, but we're in a good spot. It's coming over DuPont right now. That's the wall cloud. Unsure if it's still on the ground. Still far away. We're letting this storm come to us. We might need to head a little bit south. Thinking we're gonna head south. Just to get a better view of it, we're gonna head south. Clear, clear. Calm, cool, collected. Thanks everybody for watching the stream. Make sure to like and subscribe for more action. Whoops. It's gonna be right there, right on the left-hand side. We're approaching it from the north, not smart, but it is what we're doing currently. We got a lot of east-west roads. Unsure if it's still on the ground. Lots of trees. Oh, 
We still have time. We're probably going to get to the south of it and then approach it from the south side. So it's not right on us yet. But we do have horrific tree line right here. And I don't think it opens up any better. I hate these trees. We're going to get down to Bellevue. We still got time, still about five minutes from this road, so no worries there. I think we would have got too much in the rain if we stayed at our current position. So we're flying south right now. That's looking behind us. My phone did not go off for a tornado warning, surprisingly. Still going to continue south. view is pretty much blocked right now due to these trees, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, okay. We gotta continue with south. These trees, we can't see shit. We can't see anything, so we got to continue south. All these people going north. Oh my gosh, you guys are going to get so close to the tornado. Most likely on the ground by DuPont right now. I just got a tornado emergency. Real deal, guys. Real deal. We should be south of it now. So gonna go find this east-west road. There's no good farm roads. Tornado's gonna be right over there. Keep panning. It's gonna be right over there. We're gonna have one shot at this thing. Our east west road, good road right now. We're definitely south of it right now. So we're good. But man, these trees suck. We're going to be turning here very shortly. Gonna get into some farm field, get some distance between us and this tree line so then we can actually see something. We're definitely south of it right now. It's probably two minutes away from the road that we're on currently, but we're south of it for sure. Oh, this road has no view.
All right, we're, we got a farm field right here. We're about to get a view of it. Spinning the camera. Oh my gosh. There's some more chasers down here. Don't think it's on the ground right now. All right. Okay. Oh, it's hard to tell what's going on in there. This is the tornado worn storm right here. It would be right, right there. Should I launch the drone? Give it a second. Not sure if we'll take the live stream of the drone, but we're gonna send it up really quick. Oh. Don't think it's on the ground right now. Might be rain wrapped slightly. Oh, come on, DJI. Come on. That's starting to rain pretty good, but that's all right. Don't know if it's down right now. If it is, it's rain wrapped. Actually, that might be the tornado right there. Right on that back side, holy moly. Oh yeah, she's down there. Oh my gosh, those people by the trees. Watch out, we're south of it, we're good. This thing is a monster. You going so, that way? Most likely, because that's the only road that crosses that river right there. But yeah, well, there's another highway that leaves Madison, if you look, too, on radar. Okay. That's what I plan on doing. It's just going back that way. Yep. Going northeast towards Cincy. Yeah, I can pull out of your way as soon as you're ready to move. Oh, no, you're good. no problem. I'm here for a bit. I think it's right in that rain right there, to the left, right there, those rain curtains. Can you see anything? Uh, just rain, not really too much side to side motion, but it's hard to tell. Nothing that you can't really see down here. I think I'm going northeast. Sounds good. Northeast. Good luck. Hey, appreciate it. Come on.
Sorry about the stream, guys. Got a group of chasers here. That might be the tornado right there that you're looking at. Right there. Boom. Hard to tell. Go. Time to go, time to go. All right, now we're chasing this thing. About to do a five point turn here. That's the tornado. Hold on guys, I'll get the stream rolling here in a second. Everything's getting rain wrapped. Everything. We gotta keep up with it. All right, all right. That was a little chaotic for a second. That was a little chaotic. I think my drone kind of hit the truck a little bit, but didn't fall out of the sky. The wind kind of swept it into it. Definitely getting some RFD winds. Trying to get the camera back on, but we got to go left up here. Oh my gosh, there's a dog out there. That is looking behind us. Dog, you are so old. Watch out. All right. Oh. Didn't really see too much rotation on the ground. <coughs> but it was definitely rainy. Now we're gonna struggle to keep up with this thing. Got some cool shots with the drone. Took on some rain, should be okay. Rain arrived pretty quick. We are paralleling it. We're definitely going slower than it though because we are on some windy roads. Definitely got hit by some RFD winds and some winds right now. Man, these winds are, these winds, these roads are windy. Probably gonna lose signal going down here. Going into a valley.
We gotta cross this river. We gotta cross the river. No way we're keeping up with the storm on this road. <laughs> that other road that I was on was a good road, but it was not um, parallel. We're to get, getting into some rain right now. The rotation's well off to our north, unless it changes or unless it cycles. looking behind us. This road is so curvy. But this road kind of goes back up into where the rotation is. This road will be closed after 410. Beautiful. A little bit of water on the roadway. We're going back towards the lo uh, rotation. This road is taking us back to the rotation. Our enemy right now is the winding roads because no way we're keeping up with this storm. But we are close to the rotation. I don't know if that tornado was on the ground. If it was, it was rain wrapped. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Don't know how it was when the, I mean, there wasn't much to see, but there was a little bit of uh, some rain curtains coming across. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. We're in the hills of Indiana right now. Might've been on the ground, hard to confirm. Definitely water on the roadways. Tree branches down. The rotation is still well off to our north, so we're behind it now. No threat of us getting hit by a tornado. Lots of little tree branches down on this road, though. We are going through the jungle. Slide area. Oh, great. Put on the front cam. Sorry, I was focusing on driving through this these windy roads. We got about five other chasers with us, but don't know if we'll catch up to this storm. Tornado emergency for uh, Louisville, just outside of Louisville. So if you know anyone down there, make them aware. This road goes northwest, so good road to be on, but it's a little windy. But we're gonna stay on it for now. How's there so much traffic? Thank you. Kind of feels like we're off-roading. Take your drama mean.
That was an interesting intercept. Have to review the drone footage to see if there was any ground circulation, but drone was getting wet. Drone may have gotten hit uh, um, a little, hit the truck a little bit on landing because it was a little chaotic, but uh, it maintained, it was in the air and it never fell out of the air, but I heard it, a couple blades hit the, uh, hit the truck. Hopefully everybody's enjoying the stream. We're still on this tornado warning right now. The rotation is just to our north, but unfortunately it looks like it's pretty rain wrapped right now. Oh, we're following a trailer. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then there's one guy behind me, six chasers behind you. And we got farm equipment on the roadway. Oh, look at these winds going from left to right. So now we're heading towards the rotation. Big clouds moving up there. Streaming into the storm, just feeding it. You can see the clouds ripping from left to right as we kind of make our way out of the circulation or out of the rain. Yeah, look at those clouds feeding into the storm. Unfortunately, we do not have roads that we can keep up with this storm, but the rotation is still right on the north of us. But this guy transporting farm equipment. Unfortunately. I still like this route. Slow it down a little bit. There is that tornado emergency down to the south. We're coming up on Pleasant. Where's this tornado heading? This tornado circulation is heading towards Cincinnati. So Cincinnati, prepare if you're in the southern half of Cincinnati, if you're in the northern severe thunderstorm warning right now. Hopefully this guy with the farm equipment is pulling off soon because we're going incredibly slow. Not the time to be transporting farm equipment in a tornado warning. Little bit of localized flooding there on the side of the road. Going back down now. Losing connection.
Still struggling for connection. Hello if we're back, don't know if we are or not, but we went through some pretty crazy valleys. So yeah, connection is not going to be good for probably the remainder of the stream. Hello, hello. That was interesting. Interesting, we went deep into a valley. Definitely lost connection there for a good while. Uh, don't expect too re reliable of connection. But we are heading to the other tornado warning right now that's to the south. This one's probably getting cut off by, uh... yeah, it's probably getting cut off. So I think it's best to just go south here. And we will see what happens. South to this other tornado warning. 
So we're not too far from it. It's kind of moving towards us in a way, but we still got a little. We're going to stick through the connection loss. Pretty intense winds ripping into these storms. But yeah, Cincinnati. So So look alive. We are about to cross into Kentucky. We'll be on this next storm shortly. But we got some rain and we're coming at it from the north. So we are a little ways away. Got a little line of chasers. Connection's gonna be spotty, but we are going for that other tornado warning to the south. Winds are ripping across. To swap these Ugh. SD cards. You're all good now. Not sure what we saw there. Might have been rain curtains from a tornado, but it was definitely rain wrapped. So it was not visible when we got to it. Should have maybe been on that storm a little bit earlier, but who knows? Looks like there's a tornado maybe by Sun something, Sunbright, Tennessee.
The insurance for a tornado is to not get hit by one. Thanks for subscribing, it means a lot. We're in some winds right now, so we're on the north side of this tornado warning. We're still pretty far from it. We're working our way south. Gonna be going through a little bit of rain here. We are storm chasing. Hard chase today with how fast storms are moving, but we make do. I think we are in Kentucky now. Can't wait for some planes chasing when you can see for miles. That is tornado warning. There is another spot of rotation that I'm eyeing by Sanders, so which is close to us. In between Sanders and Glencoe. Woo, 
It's getting warm in here. Probably shouldn't have turned on the heat. Go take a left up here. These storms are moving more east than northeast, which is not in our favor, unfortunately. Surprised we have signal out here. I mean, I think we are coming up to a town. So that's good. Vive. V, the town of Vive. It is on the river. What river? I do not know. The Ohio River. Ah, good old OHIO River. The storm by rising sun going into that we were on is tornado warned again. That's going into South Cincinnati. Clear, clear. Once again, appreciate everyone tuning in, if you can hear me. Connection's a little bit rough. This is a tough chase. Tough chase. I don't know what state I'm in. Probably Ohio. Whatever state I'm in. Indiana. Yep. So we're not in Kentucky yet. Slow moving through the town of Vive. Next town coming up is Warsaw. I feel like there was a Warsaw in Missouri yesterday. Hopefully we're getting some internet back, but it'll probably go away. Where do we cross over, at Warsaw or before Warsaw? Markland, there's Warsaw.
Huh. Looking at rotation that's going to come across the river that we can intercept. So this is interesting. Is there another river crossing somewhere? Gosh, there's one river crossing, huh? Yeah, right by Glencoe. All right, we might be on something here. Do you have a decision to make? Cross the river or to not? I think right now we don't cross it. But it is a hard call. Now nah, we gotta cross it. We get stuck on this side, it is no fun. But there is rotation up there to the right, slightly, by Glencoe. We got across the river. Cross the river, get down to Highway 71, maybe. Looks like in uh, Louisville, there was maybe some rotation and saw some pictures of some flipped cars on an interstate, or it could just be uh, heavy winds, hard to say. But I haven't seen any real photogenic tornadoes, but uh, yeah. Uh, there probably was a tornado in what we saw, but it was just wrapped in rain. Here's the Ohio River. Right there. There it goes. So we're on the northern side of these storms here. What a tough chase today with storm motion, but we knew where it was going to be. Adrenaline high is definitely coming down a little bit, but there's still active tornado warnings and we're kind of in a decent position to take a look at them. We're going to be crossing the Ohio River shortly. Thanks everybody for tuning in. We live for a bit longer, see what this storm does. There's a bird up there, that was cool. And there's also another storm behind it that could be interesting.
We just got across into Kentucky to say we chased in Kentucky. 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 Do not litter, $1,000 fine, understood. Now we get to cross the Ohio River. Here we go, we're crossing into the great state of Kentucky, Hilly, Kentucky. Go get down to Interstate 71. And then I do not know where we're going to go. Hopefully you, everyone, everybody enjoyed it. Going up the hill, let's take a look behind us. Wow, got a good view, kinda. making sure there's no uh, tornadoes behind us. I think that's all scud back there. Or it should be. Holy moly, we're hill climbing. What a climb. Man, these storms are going more eastward now. We have crossed the Ohio River. There still is a tornado warning south of Cincinnati. Not sure I see it on velocity right now, but you never know. The other tornado warnings I think have dropped But my radar is not updated in a little while. What a crazy chase today.
<laughs> where to go, where to go? We'll go up to Interstate 71 here, then we'll make a decision. Everything's looking a bit weird right now. The Kentucky Speedway. stop here at Love's for a second. Got to think for a moment. Holy moly, this loves is busy. I just gotta look at something. Oh man, I got a stiff leg. That might. No more tornado warnings right now. What a chase. There's a good storm moving through Cincinnati. All right, I think that's gonna be it for me for the stream. So thanks everybody for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Connection got rough after that uh, rain wrapped tornado. We'll see if that was confirmed and I'll uh, release the drone footage shortly. Have a good evening, everybody. Have a good Thursday. Not sure when the next chase will be, but we'll be out exploring the uh, da -da 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 solar eclipse next week. So.